La 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 la. No, I'm just playing. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Just Weirdly Blended. Today is December 18th, 2021. I am Tom. And I'm just E. Just, I'm Just E. I'm Just E. I'm just e. That's, my, that's my rapper name, Just E. My name is Just Tom. Um, just Dom? Just Dom. Oh, yeah. just Tom. Yeah, Dom. Oh, I thought you mean it's just Dom. You're like a Dom. No, just Dom. Daddy Dominator. Just Dom. Call me just Dom. Just call me just Dom. Yeah. Hey, baby girl. Call yeah, me just girl. I'm still, I still love losing that. I did that today on Alicia. Yeah. It's like, hey, baby girl. I was like, you know, if I called you baby girl before we started date, if we, before we saw that movie, mm-hmm. you'd be okay with it. All right, well. I go, but that guy, I mean, that's just how he sounded. Go watch that movie again. <sighs> Trust me. Yeah. It sounded like that. So okay. I was trying to sexy move on her. I was just fucking around. I was like laying on the couch. And so like I, um, I, I laid back and then I kicked my leg Yeah, to go. Cause she's laying the other <laughs> way. That's why I kicked my leg trying to be all sexy. Oh man. And, uh, I fucking pulled my muscle. It happens. I was like, Oh shit. <laughs> My leg, I'm crapping. Yeah. She's like, babe, you need to start doing yoga. I was like, I know, I'm all trying to be, you know, I was obviously doing a guy doing that, a spready is not a sexy move yeah. in general. Yeah. The first um, time just grab her by the neck when she's in the shower. Right. I'll fucking slip and break yeah. my leg. No, but yeah, I fucking pulled a muscle doing that shit. Yeah. I'm trying to, and all I had my leg was spread. My leg was. Going open like that. And then I was like, oh, shit. And then she went to go, like, move it more. And I'm like, ah, my oh, hip no. flexor. <laughs> oh, no. I'm she dying. Did you move more? Yeah, wow. which she was laughing. It was Wrong pretty funny. direction. <laughs> but I'm glad we did our Walmart trip before that. Yeah. Or wait, yeah, before that. Yeah. But yeah. Holiday shopping? Um, shopping, yeah, shopping. kind of. Yeah. We got one more thing for the kids because we got a. Ah, they don't listen to this shit. We got a Nintendo Switch. Oh, sweet. So I got another set of controllers. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. That way, because we have Mario Kart, that way... Everybody can play. Yeah, four. So we Mm -hmm. have four. Um, But And then we got Chloe, something for her birthday. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so we went there, and then I was in Walmart, and I don't know, man. I was all hyped in Walmart. Sometimes I just get in these moods, like, where I'm like... Not because yeah. I'm at Walmart. Yeah, fuck yeah, Walmart, you know, baby. The famous Walmart hype. <laughs> yeah. That everyone gets. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> shit. I'm shopping today. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that makes you feel better than walking Walmart. Wow. The ball is <laughs> out of control. It's full of the what do you want? spirit. You want some great value lotion? I got you, girl. You know, I almost <laughs> shit myself one time. I was walking through there. I and, almost, uh, like, literally <laughs> shit yourself? <laughs> I could have. I was walking into the Lounge. liquor section, and uh-huh. a lady actually came up to me and asked, have you been helped, sir? I Whoa. looked around for a minute, and I'm like, where am I? Am I at Walmart? <laughs> I thought I went to, like, Fred Meyer or something. Um, I see Blanca's <laughs> cousin in there sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kristen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll see her in there every now and then. We She's about the only nice there. person. Yeah. Everyone else. She'll say like, hi. Everybody else. I flat out had a guy like about face and walk away from me one time. It's like he turned the corner, saw there was a customer and <laughs> bailed as fast as he could. Thanks, you <laughs> bastard. I know. Uh, so. No, we were at, when we were there though, we're in like the, where was it? The cleaner exit, the cleaner oh, yeah. aisle. And I don't know. I always get these like, like the house urges. Yeah. I yeah. just always get these urges where I'm like, kind of like, not just pumped. And so I out of nowhere, I fucking scream. In the store, I'm like, whoa, and nobody looked because it was Walmart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some guy was sitting there on his phone. He was at the cl- he was looking up cleaners. Oh, okay. On his phone, yeah. Because I was being nosy as I walked sure. by. I was Glass. like, I tell you, I was like in a weird mood, so I was just like <laughs> looking yeah. over. I think I'm bipolar or something because I was just, I don't know, huh. yeah. manic depressive. Something. Maybe I was just happy, <laughs> extra happy today. Yeah, um, oh, that's cool. You know, so that was I, all today. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was today. I was like, I fucking screamed all out. Alicia's like, hey, what are you doing? I was just like, eh, you know, it is what it is. Spreading holiday cheer. Yeah, yeah, for the whole world to (laughs) hear. All the world to hear. (laughs) But no, Walmart was all right. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's Walmart. I went there too. There were so many fucking people there. Yeah, it, it, uh, there weren't too many people when I went a little bit ago to buy some eggnog to oh, try yeah. that tonight. Eggnog. And uh, I was hoping to find one of those ridiculous Christmas jackets or something to wear. Dude, 
They're all cool. gone. Yeah, that was like hoping. the green coat. Like you just yeah, want masters. and I would have even like bought like a holiday tie, passed it up for tonight, but. They were sold out already. If, I need to remember to do it early. If we end up doing a Christmas episode, we're fucking wearing that shit just for you guys. Yeah, I'll go for to you. Goodwill. Thirty <laughs> people that are subscribed yeah. to us. Thank you to the thirty subscribers. Yeah. That, and if you, know, you haven't subscribed, please do so. Yeah, just uh, join us on our journey here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, it's a it's a tough journey. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Because it's like you yeah. want you want this thing to grow and it doesn't grow as fast as you in your head you want it. Yeah. But you slow know, and steady. We're slow. Steady just keep growth. grinding. Just keep yeah. grinding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think the moment we get frustrated with it, I think is the moment it's like, yeah, fuck this, I'm done. Yeah, I don't, and I don't want that to happen. Yeah. We actually have gotten a few comments. We have a few uh, listeners, yeah, that, hell yeah. repeat listeners. I, hey, if I reach one person to make their day happy. That's all. Hey, you know what? And that one person can share with another person and then it's on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. So thank you, everybody out there. Yeah. We have, but, like, what? You said, like, 30 followers? Or 30 followers. We, we were down to 29. And then now we're back up to nice. 30. All right. Yeah, just yeah. follow us or subscribe and then don't, like, bail on us. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, if you don't subscribe. want to watch it, you know, whatever. Hey, the subscription's <laughs> free. It is yeah, free, right? right? I mean, you don't even have to have the notifications what's on. What's it to you? No, don't, don't click notify. <laughs> you always hear those YouTubers. Yeah. What is up with YouTubers and their voices, though? Don't forget. <laughs> like and subscribe today. Hit that like. What I do Hit like, that notification that, uh, bell. Mr. Ballin. He always does oh, random I love like, Mr. Ballin. <laughs> if you haven't yet, shoot the like button with 39 bullets and then blow <laughs> yeah, yeah. up the subscribe button okay. with the bomb. Like... He says random shit that you, it, it catches your interest. It's like, you're smart, Mr. Bowman. That's smart. because he was a SEAL. And he tells cool, scary stories. Yeah, and he has such a great voice. Yeah, he does. I don't know. He, he has such what a... What an ass. A nice face. A good voice. He has such a good story. Yeah. Like, his voice he just... He doesn't say, oh, but he doesn't sound like me. I'm like, oh. yeah. <laughs> there was this gal, no, what do you call it? What do you, what's the thing? The car. She's driving yeah, It takes car. me 45 minutes to tell a story. And I can tell now that people are looking at me like, you hurry the yeah. fuck up. Have you ever started telling something and then forgot halfway through what no, you were saying? All the time. <laughs> it's like that panic moment of trying to figure out where the hell you were. I was doing that to Lisi the other yeah. day. I was saying something <laughs> and then um, I just lost the thought. And yeah. she's like, what was you going to say? I'm like, you know what? I don't fucking know. I don't remember. <laughs> Why don't you I, tell me what I was going to say? Yeah. I was like, I don't remember. We should try this eggnog. <laughs> Let's do it. We've, we talked last time or the time before about eggnog. Last week. And how did we, we talk about it on the podcast? Yeah, I thought we did. Or did we talk about it? So after the podcast, we played some pool. Maybe it was after the podcast. I don't know. Had a I couple more drinks. So, but we were good. We've never had... Played the longest game of fucking darts, darts We ever. got up to over 1,000 points each. I don't even know don't who won. Don't think that's how it plays. I don't remember who won. Neither of us. Neither. <laughs> so this has a cognac mix in it. It's not bad. No, not bad at all, actually. I think it's watered down because it, 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 it took us a minute to get on here. Yeah, we, we updated some music to throw yeah. some holiday so in guys, there. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Oh, the Santa. Santa's on his way. Jingle bell, jingle. Oh, <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, our elf on the shelf didn't move for three days straight. That bitch was out there just hanging out in the same spot. Even after the podcast the next day? Uh, no, he. Mo- I guess I said she. It's a he. So the, uh, that's what, I thought it was a girl. No, nah, the one in my classroom's a girl. I know that the one Crystal, in, the one yeah, <laughs> Crystal. Yeah, which the kid who I thought named it obviously didn't because she says I call her Tinkle Toes because that's the name I gave her. I'm like, oh, okay. wait a minute, you said Crystal. Well, who the hell named her Crystal? <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, no, okay, it's, Twinkle Toes is still better Twinkle than Crystal. Toes. Uh, I'm all for that other kid yeah. whoever named it. Crystal. So that one didn't move for three days, or the one at ours the here at the house? Uh, Cody. Cody's, Cody's lazy, lazy, bro. Dude, I'm gonna buy him a fat suit. <laughs> I'm like, just make him the fat elf on the shelf. He doesn't move. He's so, just fat. So, you know what? This has nothing. This actually brings up something that I thought about the other day. So when we do our podcast, we like to come up with ideas. This is totally not <laughs> one of them ideas. Yeah. But something I seen on Facebook is. Why do people make their elf so... Is, now, is the elf on the shelf supposed to be an <clears throat> asshole? <clears throat> um, no. Because actually be? the elf is... <laughs> is here's he my spy? understanding. He is in your home. He's a, he's a spy. So watch for Santa. 
which Stan is all knowing, so it's kind of pointless. He's Jesus, yes, to, like, he's, he's the essence of God. Uh, he is part of the Holy Trinity, I do believe. He's, he's actually and the fourth, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, no, because and if you uh, look at a cross, it's that's one, true. One, two, three. No, he, he is the bottom of that, <laughs> yeah. of that uh, quad. Yeah, uh, so it's like God, <laughs> Jesus, I, I, saw, an angel. I saw a lot of ornaments of, <laughs> of Jesus, like kneeling down to baby Jesus. No. Did I say Jesus? Like yeah, yeah. Santa kneeling down to baby Jesus. Nice. I was like, guys, come on. Doing the Tebow. It's fucking Christmas. Oh, Jesus but, is about Jesus. I get why they did it, but I'm like, come the on. The birth. Like, yeah, I mean, like, okay. <laughs> Santa. But it took those wise men at least 45 days to get to hey, Jesus. Was one of the wise men named Balthazar? I don't know. It sounds like the devil's name. Or no, oh. that's Beelzebub. I think that's another name. I think that's another name for the devil. <laughs> Belzebub? Belzebub, I think so. Something like wow, that. Wow, I don't know. Huh. I don't remember. Huh. Huh. Belzebub. Belzebub. But yeah, no, so I seen on Facebook, so people like will post, you know, uh-huh. their elf being, you know, the Not elf. elf. Yeah. It shaved like Barbie's hair. Oh. <laughs> it was it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. Don't get me wrong. If you could get a Barbie going <laughs> I know. I've seen one where they're like throwing dollars at the barbie and said like <laughs> stripping, like they're at the strip club or something. You know, it's like, is this for adults? I know. I, hopefully but, not for the children. And I've seen a video where the guy actually uh, woke up, but he, he, you know, his head was shaved down the middle. Oh, Lord. it was it was pretty brilliant. Don't yeah. get me wrong, it was it was a brilliant move. But they just got me thinking: Are are the elves? Spo- I know they're supposed to. They're they're the spies making it sure turned, we're good. I think. I think what happened is the elves started getting bored. Uh, right? Yeah. Right. And so they started playing little games so that they weren't tired of doing the same fucking thing every <laughs> single night. All the time. And, and I sometimes think they get bored and sleep for three days. And typically the elves are ones that live in houses who have mothers or fathers who are very creative people and have time. Oh, yes. <laughs> if your family doesn't have time or creativity, your elf is probably going to be a dud. <laughs> My elf just moves from one spot to another and sometimes doesn't. The first spot I move our elf, Elliot goes in and goes, yeah, Cody always likes that show. <laughs> Fuck this. I know. JJ Cody. will be like, um, Bippy, he, I think he's going to be here. I think he's going to be here. So Bippy doesn't move to those places. You know? Yeah. But... Bippy's been getting a little more, not not mischievous, but I think he got hungry the other day, so he was holding some of Alicia's chocolate and had it all over his face. Oh, man. Uh, then he was in our little candy jar thing. Yeah. And then he was in one of the plants and decorated it. He decorated the plant. So, I don't remember <laughs> my brother made this up or actually saw this somewhere. <laughs> An elf. They got himself tied to a fan, a oh. ceiling fan. <laughs> just near me. <laughs> <So, laughs> uh, I want to do that one so bad. I would love to if we had a ceiling fan. Yeah, right. I have one <laughs> in the bedroom. I think I might give that a shot and see, uh, see how I know. it works. But. You know, he might be in <clears throat> JJ's room like that. Damn. He has woke up occasion. <laughs> JJ has like this on the shelf. He has a uh, toys oh, that yeah. we, like, mm-hmm. we put his little Batman toys in. Yeah. Um, and so Bippy woke up there one day. Gotcha. Yeah, so. Well, hanging out with the others. You know, trying to, Bippy's trying to be more creative. Sure. Uh, it's not easy for everyone. It's every not elf. easy because he's not your typical elf. <laughs> he's a little smaller. <laughs> His hands don't move out of this position. He is uh, a little creepy looking. <laughs> he's kind of creepy. <laughs> he's like a, isn't he like a classic 60s elf? Like, he, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I think he was found like, <laughs> on the streets at Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laying outside <laughs> the elf that Santa forgot. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but no, it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, he's very, he's very creepy. Very like, I don't know. We see a car outside. Yeah, the somebody's door. just like they're like creeping. creeping. So we might have to get our guns. Get my gat. Oh, speaking get of my gats. get my gat, motherfucker. I'm gonna make this note right now. You know what I bought? A gat. <laughs> well, sort of. I bought my choke for my shotgun for when we go uh, turkey hen. A choke? Yeah. Oh, shit. To, oh, to control so the scatter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can get turkey shots, too, for that, I think. Oh, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. Bucket just told me something about that. So, oh yeah, you know, oh so, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Bucket has that in one of his big. Uh, is it? It's either big brown or big black. Yeah, but yeah, his. I haven't his, made my shotgun yet because yeah. I've never loaded it. Well, he has this older know. like shotgun that's brown. Yeah, and it's brown, big brown. It's a nice. I like it. It's a very nice shotgun. Yeah, and the big black looks like a tactical sort yeah, of. Yeah, it's very it's kind of tactical. I mean, it just looks it's like a, a shotgun. It's a regular shotgun, but it's got like you know, it's all black now. His his uh, brother in law or Kyle, the oh, his ex brother in law, I guess, had a tactical shotgun mm-hmm. when we went hunting one time. Yeah, that he had outside of his trailer, <laughs> and then that was pretty nice. Those are cool. Yeah, it kind of reminded me it of Fred. Was the short barrel? Yeah, it reminded me of Fred. Truly tactical. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fred's cool. I had a laser point. Huh? Can Fred has a laser point. point. It's cut an inch, just like an inch or a half an inch long. Does it have a lot of kick? I bet it's not bad. No, he had. I think he still has the pistol grip on it. No, it's not really bad. You think it's going to be really bad? Take that turkey hunt. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Damn. It. Get a jump yeah. out there. There you go. I'm going to write down the dates. What dates do I need to take off from work to do that? Yeah, it's, it's April, April, right? <laughs> I have to relook up the... Uh, 20-something, right? Yeah, it's the 20th or somewhere around there. I'll have to look up the text message. Okay. Because i got to take that time. Maybe I should do that now. Yeah, let me see. Because... Oh, it's the, the 22nd through okay. the 25th. So it's a Friday and a Monday you take off. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. I'll be doing that. Uh, I'll probably do that while I'm on break. I'll probably do that. Yeah, my boss told me I need to take more PTO. Yeah, I want to do it early um, enough that I'm guaranteed to get it. I don't think anyone's going to be fighting me for the 20 seconds. What? I'm going jerky hunt too. <laughs> you never know, depending on the school. No, yeah, there are um, more men teaching these days. I'm uh, watching all the ladies. So, what ladies can jerky hunt? Is that what you're saying? Fucking misogynist. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. No, there's <laughs> probably I'm ladies. Kidding. I'm kidding. That could probably turkey hunt me. Out of the ground, huh? <laughs> turkey hunt you out of the ground. I'm yeah. gonna turkey hunt that song, bitch, right. out the ground. That's a Dr. Phil quote right there. Oh my god, I was listening to the Low Priori Brothers and they were doing <laughs> Dr. Quill, Dr. Quill. <laughs> Dr. Quill, medicine woman, <laughs> Dr. Quill, Star Lord, Peter Quill, Dr. Quill. Uh, uh, but they were doing, I almost said Dr. Quinn now, <laughs> Dr. Phil, like his voice yeah. was in there just. Doing insults as Doctor Phil, the way Doctor Phil was, it was fucking funny. Yeah, Doctor Phil, he's a douche. I don't like him. Yeah, at all. He's he cares about. He's not even a doctor. No, not only is he what? Not only is he not a doctor. It's like this. Tom has something cool to show you guys. But no, not only is a doctor. Oh, uh, he's not a doctor. Oh, cool. Whoa. You, you're going to have to show that. We're being loud out here in the show. Sorry. Street. I'm going to show you guys. So not only is he not a doctor, I don't think he's a real therapist. He's not. No. Just love yourself, and then you'll love others. There's a guy. Which that is actually was, probably good. No. Love yourself, and you might love someone else, Jesse. <laughs> I know. Uh, he, one time there was a guy on a show that lost his job, and he had been an executive, right? And he was yeah. Old. Oh. And so he wasn't going to get that job back. And so his wife was like frustrated with him. Like, you know, you just need to get a job. And he's like, I worked decades to get to the level I was at. And I don't want to accept something that's going to push me backwards. And Dr. Pill's like, man, I'd rather be flipping burgers than sitting at home. And of course, the dumbass audience who... Ooh. Don't have fucking jobs on there. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Phil. Yeah. Yeah. And Robin's out there. Yeah. Didn't he God. beat his wife? Probably. But How in fairness, like I wouldn't beat his wife. Do you see <laughs> her there? Like, yeah, I'm talking real. Sorry, Robin. Well, she, you're a wonderful woman. She has to, or he'll get he'll beat her. I don't know if he uh, does, but if you do, Rob, Dr. Phil, you're a piece of shit. Can you imagine living with Dr. Phil? No. I guarantee you his ego. Is he Rob, did you just tell me or imply that <laughs> I'm not good enough? I know. Fuck Dr. <laughs> Fuck you, Dr. Phil. I got nothing good. You gotta to live say. life yeah. to earn a life. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you are worthy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it is funny though, because the audience, come on, man. Who has that much time to just seriously? You know what, and- you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take time off work. I'm going to go to wherever the fuck Dr. Phil is, and I'm going to go on Dr. Phil's show. Yeah, yeah, right. That's my dream. Yeah. And not to be on the show, just to be in the audience of the show, yeah. sitting near Robin. 
Right. So you think the seats close to Robin are more expensive? Because oh, they got to be. Gonna those are those are like the those are probably like the like uh, fifty yard line seats of a football game, right? A little spendy, right? You might get a chance to the TV. My biggest question with Doctor Phil: What gave him the right to sell diet books? Oprah. <laughs> I mean, he's a product of Oprah. Look at him, though. Like he is uh, not a yeah. fit man. I didn't know he had diet books. So you said books? Yeah. I caught the diet part afterwards. All I thought was like just books in general. Yeah. Oprah. That, yeah. Oprah. That 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 is a good point, right? He's not a healthy man. I don't know. Like, I, he is a normal. Like, I'm not saying he's, like, morbidly obese, but he is certainly in the obese category. Um, well, I don't know. And here I'm, he is. I'm he'll die, technically but considered obese. So am I. And it's fine. I was just looking but at I wouldn't fabulous be, breasts. Are you and I peddling diet books? Hell no. No. We're and he's always like, donuts. you got it. Yeah, you said it. I'm under gonna, control. I'm going to pass out them donuts. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm definitely peddling candy into my mouth. Oh hello! Yeah, it's uh, it's Christmas time, folks. This is what we do. Well, Halloween after Halloween. I know Halloween. <laughs> One time, I bought two bags of candies. Nobody came to the house, so for like a month, oh, I was eating fuck. candy bar after candy bar. Dude, we used to take the kids' candy because we would allow them X amount of candy, then we'd put all the candy together after their hard work. Because mm -hmm. it's hard work being parents. You guys know. We have to fucking walk with them. Yep. We have to drive next to them. Come Guess on. What? We, we have to protect that, them. If we choose that they don't go, they don't get any candy. Yeah. So, so I mean, a 90% tax rate is pretty fair. It is fair. You know? Um, so then that candy, and then we'll slowly let them have candy here and there. But in that process, I'm eating candy, which is a bad thing. Yep. I'm like, oh, Starburst. Starburst is like crack for me. Yeah. For reals. I will mm -hmm. smoke that shit. That's what oh, Reese's peanut butter cuts for me. Cook it in a spoon, yeah. shoot it in my veins. Nice yeah. thing with uh, Reese's, they come in a foil wrapper. So it makes it really easy. Dude, to, to back smoke. in the day, I used to, <laughs> when I smoked weed a lot, I would, in my car when I lived in Seattle, I would always have, so I liked Reese's. Yeah. Um, it was the, the minis. Oh, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'd have those. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, the individual wrap cups. That's what it was, the mini yeah. cups. I would have those in my car. And I would, I was always eating them, man. They were so good. Mm. And then my car got broken into, and they, they that, stole them. They stole. Was that the only thing they stole? That and a coat. <laughs> They're cold and hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been homeless. Person. It was a crime of poverty. So I, I was uh, not in the most like nice place in Seattle. Sure. I was, I was working downtown. I used to. You do mean you're in Seattle? <laughs> yeah, I was. Oh. I was working. Uh, so I used to do janitor work. I would help like my. Like this girl I was dating, I would help her mom, and, and we would help her like clean these buildings, like some places in Pike Place, yeah, and, and a couple like architectural buildings, like where architects were and stuff. And mm -hmm. so we we'd clean those out. And so one night it was like two, three in the morning, and okay. fucking come out, and I got a busted windshield. Not good. Like, Fuck. And then my coat was gone, and my my Reese's. So the window they broke out to enter the vehicle was the fucking windshield. No, it was actually like uh. The so the passenger side, I think, okay. it was either the passenger driver's side, like in the back seats. So, why did, why did they break out your windshield just to be a dick to get inside the car? I had them locked, my door. No, I, I know, no, yeah, yeah. Just what I'm you. asking is like they broke through yeah, the just, windshield, no, they broke through the side mirror, the side windows, so the windows, I guess, so it's not the, the windshield, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Because I was going to have a really no, no, fun no, no, time no. with that if they chose. The windshield, and they had to climb over a fucking dashboard. To yeah, no, get no. In the car. So but, the window. Okay, okay. okay. So it was Fair like the, it was it was the like. Sorry to overanalyze. Yeah. I just the wait a minute. Wait a minute. So was it the front? The windshield, windshield was gonna be pretty awesome. It was the side door, <laughs> but the windshield is what I'm getting. Can you imagine just some guy trying to scramble out of your car through the windshield because he broke in and you were walking through? And I'm, you know what? No, and this was the fucking trip. Was on the other side of that. Um, on the next street over, tons of cops. Okay, oh, it's always the way. So there's like a bar hopping place in Seattle. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like second or third or somewhere on there. Okay. Um, so just I was just on the street over from that, and just right there where all the bars were. Obviously, there's a lot of cops out in that area. Yeah. And so yeah, there was cops all out there, and I was just like, son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. You guys didn't see this? I don't know. You know, I used to love. Oh, him he murder. must be trying to get in. He must lock himself out. <laughs> oh, he just stole. We'll see you on, 
I'm Dr. Phil today. We're going to talk to this. Uh, Jesse had a mistake by calling it a windshield. Clearly a window. Yeah, Look at this on the list. My favorite thing back to Dr. Phil is like, you are going to die. You're on a crash course, mister. We got to save you now. You ain't got no time. We'll get right back to this after this commercial. <laughs> First of all, check out my son's new book, <laughs> How to Live the Dr. Phil Life. <laughs> We have yeah. time for your plug, but we don't have time for anything else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to die, but we're going to get back to that right after this Yeah, break. hold that thought. <laughs> Robin, you're selling a cookie. We don't need you to cry right now. Just hold that <laughs> yeah. commercial break. I don't want to lose my kids. We'll talk about it during commercial break, what you're going to uh, be like. Do you think some of those are staged? What do you think? I, I, I would imagine so. I think a lot of it, like, you know, obviously. Catch me outside. How about that? That little crap. You know what? Start on him. That. Okay. She blew up though. You know what? Is as much as people hate her, she Dr. Phil is a celebrity. She's man. a very smart person. Business she, woman. She made a name of herself off of that. She's a millionaire now. Can you imagine? She, she has like albums out. She did her she made like a million dollars on so, OnlyFans. <laughs> and I'm dead serious. Well, That's what's crazy. I'm gonna get on OnlyFans and make me at least a thousand bucks. <laughs> don't pay me, me to keep years. my clothes on. Please put your shirt back on. Yes, sir. That would be my only God, fans. Is, I would take. I'd start off totally naked, and they have to pay for me to put my clothes on. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> like uh, sitting there in like a sexy pose, oh, gut God. out, Bigger man girl. tits just hanging. Bigger girl. <laughs> <laughs> you like what you see? Oh man! Did you have you talked about this? Not yet. Oh yeah, you should. Uh, teachers. The best part Our of ADHD being a teacher. Moments here. Um, <laughs> yeah, we we are very random, but. Uh, Beyond, you know, educating the future of this country, um, the best part is Christmas time because we get gifts. That's so cool. And I have never seen something so, um, like, unique. Yeah. I got a lot of I, very nice gifts, and I don't complain. I won't put any over any others. This is just a, an extremely unique gift I, 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 I didn't lie. know existed. I think it's an awesome gift. It's pretty it's neat. It's so cool. Yeah, it's like, I wouldn't even know where to get something like this. I don't, I don't even know how they got the picture because I've never wore, worn this gold necklace or this shirt. You got a gold necklace but in there? But it looks like it. Let me see here. I think that's your collar or like an undershirt. Oh, an undershirt. Maybe. maybe. So maybe I have worn or, this shirt. You know, a gold oh. necklace would be fucking awesome. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, that may, that makes sense. <laughs> I, that is what that is. But let's pretend it's a gold necklace. Yeah, it is a gold necklace. <laughs> I'm a drug dealer. At this. It's a stamp. It's a me stamp. It. There it is. It, what does well, it say? It says... It says I'm impressed or something? Mr. Parham says, I'm impressed. I love that. And then you press it. <laughs> yeah, and then you press it. And it leaves a stamp. Well, is that I a was kind of going on it, but there it is. I know, I stamp I'm hand. impressed. I mean, man, it is fun. Uh, I'm going to be stamping everything. I love that. It's like a dad joke almost. Yeah, right? it's an ideal 400R. Oh, so the R? The 400R? Oh, God, dude. They don't make yeah, any Yeah, I mean, those. like, you pull this thing. I think you hold the red button. You know, like. Makes sense. It works really well. We're just. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, you push in and then out. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so it's one of these guys, and then you uh, take it, and yeah, right? Hell There's yeah. another one right there. Three. Dude, are you Boom. using that on the kids' homework? <laughs> I might. I would. I just 100%. might. Mr. Parman's impressed. Only when it's really good. 100% on the spelling test. Yeah. JJ needs those for his teacher or something, yeah. because he does good on I spelling test. his teacher one. You're like, Miss Burnett, this for you. Yeah, Miss Burnett says, hey, it's okay. Miss <laughs> Burnett's very... Um, She's a she's a good teacher. She's actually a really good teacher. She's like a a certified teacher. I don't know. She takes some stupid test every five years. She has. To oh, do. she's pro. Um, not pro cert. She's a uh, highly um, national board certified. Something like that. She's a national board teacher. You have to within every five years. You have to like. It's not so much a. They have test, to like, even like audit her portfolio. classrooms. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of work to it. You get paid more for being it, but. I don't know. It's a lot of work. I don't know if I need that pay, but maybe well, so. I think that's cool. I think that shows a lot about who you are as a mm. teacher, though. Like for parents to be like giving you gifts and shit. It's nice. And that's pretty dope. And they're, I'm telling you, I mean, it's just it's neat to see the kids. Some of the kids, some of the gifts were just the kids went to the little holiday store at school. 
oh. and bought something for me. That's good. Which honestly touched me as much as this. As cool as this is, it's yeah. like, you know, this little guy just walks into some school store and is like, this reminds me of Mr. Parham. <laughs> It'd be some random You know, <laughs> you know what? Mr. Parham needs a car eraser. That's yeah. what he Which needs. Is dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I it's I amazing love... that they love you as much as they do when half the day you're just yelling at them. Like, <laughs> God damn it, Jimmy. <laughs> you're constantly like correcting them and being like, that's not okay. Let's learn a new way. Yeah. And they still but just, I, don't I, know. I think it's kids, very sweet. It's very at the end of the day, though, kids sort of need that, though. I think kids respect it when they know that you care about them and you're doing yeah. it for their own. And you're not, you're not doing it so like not a trying to like weight. you're not. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you get firm and tough, but at the end of the day, like they always know like where it's coming from and why, and yeah. the rules are consistent, and that's comes like they need. It's come from here. It's come from right here, folks. As he takes his belt off, my love. It's because I love you. This is why I'm doing this. Now bend over <laughs> and don't you scream. No, my mom would do that though. Yeah. I'm doing this because I love you. <laughs> no, <Nope>. mom. Sure. <laughs> now put your finger in the lights. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be. My mom, when I was a little kid, tells me this story about. Now, this must be. I can only say this was probably when my mom was in her drug induced state at these times in her life. She said, when I was little, she had me stick a butter knife in a, a lamp without the light bulb. Mm hmm. Because it shocked me. I could, I could be dead. In fairness, she was shocked too. <laughs> <laughs> he took that like a G. <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> I know. Mom, lay off the drugs. <clears throat> drugs don't work well for anyone. Kids, especially don't do drugs. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, keep the kids out of it. You know. Mm. You know. I've done like I've I've talked about. You know. I've done drugs and I've done my fair share of stupid shit. Mm. Never once did I do anything where I'm like. Putting your child you know, on. Uh, hey, kid. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Stick this in the light socket. I just want to see what will happen, but I don't want to get hurt. Here. Me, I'm more like, <laughs> I'm very, not overprotective, but my yeah. kids, anything. Hey, don't do that. Hey, yeah. Don't do that. That's me, too. Elena, like, was eating a grape earlier today, and she goes, I'm like, hey, don't yeah. do that. I don't want you to choke on Hey, are face. you having fun? Knock it off. Get this, yeah. though. I say don't do that, as dad, just <clears throat> a moment before that, throws a grape in the air to catch it in his mouth. Yeah, like, you have a right. You know how to throw your body over a chair and dislodge that yourself. Yeah, and I know how to not to let it go down my throat. <laughs> I got throat control, baby. Once you're dead, ask my wife. Skill. I ask my wife. That makes it sound like she had a penis. <laughs> I got throat control. Ask my wife. She used to be a man. Ask my wife. That toy. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> throat control. <laughs> But anyway, I, <laughs> that's my I, wife. That's my best friend. He's a dude that fucks me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that sounds terrible. Just kidding. Just kidding. <clears throat> but no, um, I think it's cool though. Those gifts. I got gifts at work. Yeah. Well, I didn't get them, but like, um, yeah, I got some crazy work news actually this mm -hmm. week, and you know, I can discuss it because some, some of it was on the news. No. Oh, um, whoa. Really. So anyway, my boss gave me a bottle of like. Patron. I thought that was pretty oh, nice. Oh, damn, nice. Yeah. yeah. There's like a small old guy, but it, I mean, it's yeah, Patron, and obviously that's probably like fucking 30 bucks. Right. Dude. I thought that was very nice of him. I thought that was cool. Uh huh. Um, so there was that. We had our all staff meeting on Wednesday. Yeah. It was like on Wednesday. Uh huh. Which, which was actually pretty cool because we haven't had that where we're in person in, in a, a while since yeah. the whole COVID. That's day. Everybody was there. Yeah, um, in there was a choice of you can be at the conference center mm -hmm. or, uh, like or just in or zoom in from your desk. But <clears throat> gotcha. for the most part, everyone in IS, when I, this is all staff, I mean by IS or IT, um, so will. Um, so everyone, you know, we're all there. Anyway, there was a breakfast stuff. They they catered like a breakfast. You know, yeah. It was cool. It was awesome. Um, our CIO, uh, she just announced she's retiring. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she's stepping down in April. Yeah, um, which was a shock for a lot of people because just uh, so Friday, not this last Friday, the Friday after the Friday, not last Friday, before the one before the, that, the one before that. So two Fridays, two ago. Fridays ago. I keep thinking so because so yesterday, not yesterday, was Friday. yeah, the, la week, the before week before. Then. Okay, All right. so last week. <laughs> uh, These fucking weeks. I yeah, know. they throw me off. <laughs> uh, I I was off, right? Yeah. Get to work Monday. I'm uh, doing my thing. I get a, a, a like a chat from one of my staff. She's like, "Hey, can you fix my time?" 
I'm like, okay. And she's like, man, that email too. Wow. That's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I'll have to check it out. I'm thinking, what email? It's so crazy. I, mean, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just getting back. I'll, I'm going to be looking at my emails this morning. Look up there. Apparently our uh, CEO um, had to step down or he, he retired or not retired. He was forced. He got, he was forced out because of sexual harassment. He was accused of sexual harassment. So he was, mm. <laughs> yeah. So he was forced out and then, and then he just, resigned because he didn't want which I thought was cool it because he did doesn't want it to tarnish the the yeah, name of the company right, more and right. just, it was it was a shock to everyone because it's like if you know who he is he's like a really he's a really good guy you know like he just maybe got a little too flirty with someone or you know, or someone's lying someone's lying but they say that doesn't happen all that much <laughs> but yeah or there was like a maybe there was a love cross <clears throat> somewhere and yeah. someone didn't like it that could happen too. Maybe somebody broke up with someone. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, well, hey, that was sexual harassment. Now, asshole. Exactly. Teach you. And this is why you don't do work roles. Just for my, and I'm not saying that's what it was. Just, just in general. But I guess that came out on the news and shit. Hmm. Because he was like a CEO of a company. Sure. I'm a local company. So it was. It wasn't like I'm not like <clears throat> giving some gossip that's right. just not. It there. was public knowledge. It was public knowledge. I just I was shocked. Um, yeah. Which, well, that's you know too and bad then, in the sense so, of. You know, you lose a leader, like hopefully, and he was good. It wasn't like he was a he was bad at. He was actually really yeah. He was doing good things for the company, good things for the community as well. Good. You know what I mean? Well, he was a good person. <clears throat> he just you know probably a little flirty, maybe. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was Italian. Isn't that what? Isn't <laughs> yeah, that what uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo's Cuomo thing? I'm. That's not my fault. I touch women because I'm Italian. Uh, that's what I'm... we do. <laughs> Look at the charts. <laughs> I forgot he got in trouble for that shit. Oh, yeah. He's not governor no more. <laughs> so that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> who knows what the story is? It sucks. Um, yeah, so then, like, bad. so then, like, was it Tuesday, you know, or Tuesday or Wednesday, we, we have this emergency meeting with the supervisors, and that's when the CIO tells us she's stepping down. You know, she's just retired. regular old retirement. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, this has nothing to do with I what happened. I'm actually rest no one, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was like, <laughs> Oh no! <clears throat> yeah. uh, if that ever tried to happen, um, the CEO would be missing her arms. She would not play that game. You know, like no, she's tough. Oh yeah, yeah. I think she comes from like a military background or something. Gotcha. She, like family or whatever. She's mm. she's tough. She's a very tough She'll person. Stab you in the throat. She might. She might. But no, she's she's really cool. But she's she's stepping down. So so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. To so see your goes. whole. Hierarchy as far as what you would change is going to change. That's yeah, even like our not our so the CFO the CFO mm-hmm. is now the CEO in Trim, mm. and then there was another like finance person or C level person that's um, going to be retiring pretty soon. I guess. Holy cow! Which is, I mean, they've been there thirty plus years. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, you get tired of working all the time. I guess. Hopefully, they've been I mean, tired of working. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully they've been sort of grooming some people into leadership positions. And- Maybe. I would. I don't know. I, I remember when I got first in IT, I wanted to do CIO work, but I don't think I ever want to do that shit. Yeah. I never want to be the leader of yeah. all that. I like I what I do. I think I wanted to be a principal, and then I was like, no. Nah. Yeah, I like I, I like where I'm at right now, yeah. supervising my, my team, and mm-hmm. I love my team. And they, you know, they know. They know. Yeah. They know how much I appreciate them. I tell them all the time. Yeah. Because, you know, someone's got to. Yeah. They, you know. IT is a very thinkless job. Sure, I, I and I know that from experience. Unsung heroes. Yeah. But you know, you know what this just leads me into is that something that Alicia told me to bring up in our podcast. Hmm. Making sure you flirt with your lady. <gasps> oh, yeah. Good. Right. Point. Hmm. But you know, and I had you know we had this conversation in the car on our way to go drop the kids off at Chloe's birthday. <clears throat> yeah. I was like, yeah. I go. She goes, yeah, because I think guys. Just for for not not forget to or just choose not to. She says it in that okay. way. Choose not to. I go. I don't think they choose not to flirt with their women. Yeah, no, no. I think men choose. Yeah, or they don't. It's not a choice. It's just you're with this person so long. You just you have a different relationship. It, it's different. Yeah. So Flirt, the whole idea of flirting is you're trying to get to the level yeah. where you have that relationship. But, and well, or you know, yeah. <laughs> but I think I th- you know, and I like I told her. Obviously, she's coming from a woman's perspective. It goes both ways. Which makes no sense at all. Right. And she, <laughs> she got what I said. I go, you know, it's a two-way street. 
Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, yeah. it's going to be most of the time, you know, not not on the. It's going to be on the guy. Not, girls but, and girls. I always step really on toes. Cool. I don't want to step on toes, but it's blah blah blah. No, you know what? You know, a lot of this does fall on our shoulders. Mm -hmm. And by flirting, I don't mean like when you used to flirt before you started dating or whatever. It's just, you know, slap your woman's ass or... Say, hey, baby. Yeah. Like, I'll, I joke around with Alicia and I'll, Girl, and I'll slap... I'm not you leave until you love me. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll do some Make weird shit like sandwich. that. <laughs> so I'll, like, grab her and hug her, kiss her, slap yeah. her on the butt, or sure. just say, damn, look at you. Girl. <laughs> A little oh, shitty twister. <laughs> you, want, you want some fries with that shake? You know, maybe not. Arr, arr. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's beyond flirting. That's going to be annoying to them, I'm sure. I unfortunately have to step down from <laughs> just being husband. Brent Blendon. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> As half of the leadership role of this organization. <laughs> I know. I apologize for the punishment I've done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. To my wife, who I harassed at work. <laughs> my deepest During apology. work, I am sorry. When I put my face between your breasts and wiggle my face <laughs> back and forth, I apologize. <laughs> but, like, you know, but I think there is those moments where, you, you know, you got to be a little flirtatious, but it's, <laughs> I think that's what they consider, yeah. like, flirting. So I, th I think, and I thought that was a good comment because it's like, you know, women, even, like, a woman will forgive it if she, yeah. to, you know, hey, right. hun, and slap you on your head. Yeah. You know, dude, yeah, right. it might be silly in that moment. It might have come across kind of cheesy or silly, sure. but it, it really goes, it really kind of goes a long, long way when you do that, I, th well, I think. is it any more cheesy than role-playing other things? <laughs> hey, what are we getting into, buddy? <laughs> you know. Today, <clears throat> it was a chill eater. You're going to be a doctor, and I'm going to be a cancer patient, all right? <laughs> so, so, Maybe I'm not good at this. That term. <laughs> You're going to be a soldier, and I'm, I'm not your captain. I know. Waterboard me, damn it. So I'm going to be, what was it, that office, the, the 365? God. Oh. Yeah, yeah I'm going to kidnap you. You're my prisoner. <laughs> I won't let you go until you love me. Yeah. <laughs> We're role playing, but no, uh, but no. I guess it's right. I guess in a way, it's kind of like that. Yeah, but I think it. Go, I, I think like, that well, goes I forgot. You were role, saying something role about, playing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you were talking about. I got playing. really off track. You started role, role playing really like <laughs> extra, but no. I, I, I I'm I, Santa. You be a reindeer. Hey, come on, Miss Claus, come here. Oh, Bring God. me some cookies. Yeah, Give me some of that sugar cookie, for girl. me. Yeah. But no, I think it's you know it's fun to try to flirt. I've yeah. been I've been doing that more, but I don't consider it flirting. I'm just you know yeah, just noticing. Touchy. I'm a touchy feely person. Um, I think that's how I. I think people express their loves differently. I, yeah. We had this conversation with uh, Alicia's sister once. Uh -huh. She the uh, she was calling it the love language, right? Yes, yes. What yes. your love language is, what she was asking yes. us, and you know, for me, it's I'm a I'm a touchy person. I'm gonna touch. Obviously, not, not like Tom. Hey, Tom, how's it going? <laughs> okay, now Tom. you be the doctor. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, physical. Now My love language is touch, too. <laughs> turn your head and cough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my ultimate dream, a physical from you. But, like, you know, um, I'm like, a, you know, like, I'll touch her arm or I'll just, you know, I just need a physical touch. Yeah. And that's how, kind of how I show my love. I'm not very, like, you know, wordsy, I yeah. guess. Like I say, I love you, but I'm not, you know, one of those, you know, so there's some yeah. mushy in that sense. Oh, God, yeah. Like, oh, hi, oh, look at you, you look so cute. The sun rises on you. I don't know if I can handle, handle baby talk. With you. Yeah. Could you handle baby talk? Does anybody? Oh, no, you yes. Who's that pretty kid? I know. Did you? Is it a fucking dog? <laughs> oh, look at you. Your body <gasps> looks so nice. Look at your tail. You're so tiny. Oh. <laughs> This time yeah. the rug. Damn it, honey! <laughs> you shit on the floor again. I'm gonna rub your nose in that shit. <laughs> Don't you do that! You did this. Imagine. Oh God. But baby talk. I've never understood no, that. And there, there's it. people who like. <clears throat> you know, they baby talk. Baby, you look so pretty today. Oh my God. I would fucking shoot her for myself. A shooter. <laughs> I'd shoot myself. I would stab my ears with something. Yeah. I don't want to hear this baby talk <laughs> shit. 
Wow. Gross. But, but no, I think flirting with your wife's important. It's good. Or at least trying, you know what I mean? Just, she walks in the room, you see, damn. Yeah, just something simple. <clears throat> something yeah. just that simple. Like, I try to, at least in my, in my, the, I'm, and I'm relating this into who I am. Like, I try to tell my wife she's pretty, pretty much daily. Yeah. Like, oh, you look nice today. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, you did your nails. Oh, that looks fucking fab, girl. Damn, girl. What are you wearing? You ain't going to work like that. Like, like she'll wear something. I'm like, no, nah, you can't go to work wearing that. You know, so, so. she knows. So she, she's like, you're so dumb. And so when she says that, you know, it's, it's you all know that fun. you got it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's like, so dumb. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting lucky sometime this month. Yeah. I'll get okay, lucky. Yeah. In two months, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> undefined time frame, I will get to that. Undefined time frame. <laughs> right? Uh, but I guess, like, this is another thing. I don't know if these can coincide with each other's jealousy. Okay. Because you, you claim to kind of be jealous. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, would you like say... Like, a healthy level, but yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, do you think you're jealous, like, overly jealous? Sometimes. Like, I've had to kind of, like, ring myself in a little bit and be like, okay. Well, I don't... Like, not, uh, he's not jealous in the sense where it's like... I'm, gonna fuck I'm not gonna up. like beat her. Be yeah, like, yeah. You're not allowed out of the house. But like, <laughs> you talk to your mom yeah, when I like, say you talk to her. I, I'm getting a lot better, but I used to like I just had like triggers of things, and yeah. it was like, oh, like okay, like oh, yeah. who the fuck is that? And I realized it had a lot to do with myself and how like, I felt. In which about it does self self esteem sometimes, you know. Me. And so um, I don't, I don't, I think I'm getting better, but yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, there are some things that just like make me angry, and I'm like, okay, you know, you know I'm gonna voice my opinion about it. I'm not gonna do anything about it, but I'm gonna yeah. just like start mouthing off. And see, and I'm this is what, and this is my thing. So obviously, I've been talking about this the last couple podcasts. The dad, that dad group. Mm -hmm. um, someone brought up jealousy in a relationship because yeah. someone's relationship, they, you know, the wife has a friend from like another country or somewhere, and they like they write letters. You know, weekly or every day. Male or female? A male and a female. Or not. So the wife, the wife writes, writes the, another man. guy. Yeah. What's the purpose of this interview? They're, they're just pal? they're just friends, apparently. I don't know. I didn't get that deep into it. But he was just asking, <clears throat> is what you jealousy about? okay? And, and so for me, I like my response was basically like, it is to a point. Like there's that excessive jealousy right. where it's like, okay, this is unhealthy. But then there is that jealousy where girls find it like, okay, my guy like like cares yes, about me, yeah. or you know, and because if you're not jealous at all, that's going to tip her off. You don't really care. And and that, maybe so she's that's looking for attention because honestly, why is she pen pelling this male? I don't know. They could have been could friends be before the relationship or something. Well, yeah. but you know what? I, mean. I don't. Yeah, like, you know. I don't know. It, that's a slippery slope. <laughs> they could. Can men? Can a man and a woman be best friends? I, that's very. I don't. I think you can be friends as long as like. Yeah. Waka had a friend that I met, and then we all kind of became friends. So I'm okay with that. Yeah. If they were just hanging out together, I would not be super okay with that. Yeah. I don't like, know if it were just oh like, no, we're we're going over the weekend. Yeah. We're, going we're just gonna keep hanging out alone. Like no, Every that's weekend. not going to fucking happen. But uh, why are you packing laundry? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel more comfortable around him. I know. You you know, know I mean, shit around me. Should, you know, we're not great. <laughs> God damn it! But no, I don't know. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, there. you're good. You're good. I we do that a lot. I I would if I were in that situation, I would just be asking, what does my wife need from this other man that I'm not yeah. getting? If, yeah. if she's pen palling with some guy, and, and sometimes just, it can be know. just. Venting, <laughs> I, I, you know, not even. But get ladies, I'm going to say, you know, find a girlfriend to vent to. Yeah. Honestly, if you're, don't I, vent to another guy because honestly, that is itself is a slippery slope. That is too because a guy could be like, oh hell yeah, I'm going to throw. Some I guarantee seeds. You, I'm going to throw some seeds of doubt in this girl's mind, and I'm going to try to reel her in. If that's his, if the guy is talking to you and you're married, that's his intention. Right. I mean, like in that level, I get could like be. a colleague or something that you talk to. <laughs> One of the comments was. Well, if she just um, ends up flying out and doesn't come back, well, there's your answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. So, like, you know, like yeah. you were just saying, though, there's, there's those levels of jealousy. Yeah. Now, that one is, a, like, a that, real threat. The guy lives across the earth. Yeah. So, if she starts buying plane tickets in the you know, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, I, you know, you say you got jealousy, which is good, mm -hmm. right? Obviously. I think it's a say, healthy level. I think it is something that she appreciates. And so my like my thing when I told this guy a little bit jealous, okay, he. So what do you mean by that? Like, 
what do you mean? And so in my experience, in my, well, in, in I, I always, I always try to use the view from my perspective yeah. and my experiences. It's always been like when a woman from, from my experiences, women like to know that a guy kind of gets jealous. Cause like you just said, it shows you kind of care about them. They get kind of a thrill out of it. As they, long they, as they, Cause it's it. like, Oh yeah, it's kind of, you know, I'm his, I'm his woman, you know, like, yeah one of those things he, he's he's letting someone know that alpha male it's immaturity on both of our sides you know <laughs> uh, but no yeah and because alicia will tell me that like i don't think you get jealous at all and i'm like i get jealous like i might not show it in that mm-hmm. sense you know like i'll say things you know yeah oh hell no or you know like i don't get jealous where i sound pissed yeah. you know but i get jealous where I, you know you get that Feeling inside, where you're just like, oh hell, I'm like fuck that. Yeah. I See, I get too vocal. I've gotten to the point, like that's my only weak spot is I can't keep it in. Like, okay, you want to be a whore? Go out there. <laughs> Go out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so and then I so Alicia goes, hey. So she did this to work the other day, and trust me, this will tie into the jealousy thing. <laughs> yeah. So she sends me a text. Can you send me a picture of your grandpa, right? Mm-hmm. And I, or your grandpa. Of your dad. Oh. <laughs> and um, I'm like, I don't know my grandpa. Um, and I was like, okay, I can do that. And so I'll show you the picture I sent her. I go, there's my pops. We look the same, I know. Right? Wow. <laughs> this That's is, your dad? This is not my dad. Oh. <laughs> this is not my dad. <laughs> I was like, I'm That's my dad. dad. <laughs> That's my dad and uh, okay. my daughter when she was little. That's, I remember your dad more like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Alicia... Uh, I go, did you get that other picture? She never responded, like, you know, like, to say something like, you're so dumb, you know, like, you know, because I was joking around. Yeah. Well, yes, when she's seen it, we were at Costco. She's like, oh, fuck, man. That guy's fine. Like, he's sexy. I'm like, shut your hell, shut the hell up. I don't even need to talk that way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, in that sense, I got jealous, even though I, I brought it on myself. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes they know, too. They just know, like, this then, is going to put them over the edge. What I end up doing is I always flip it in a way to make it funny or something. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'd smash, too. Yeah. You know, or something stupid like that. Yeah. I've just gotten to the point where I will say something about, like, a female celebrity or something just to, like, throw it back on her. Yeah. She'll and I'll be like, oh, he's so fine. So, and then I'll be like, ooh, Sophia Vergara. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. She's, she's so hideous. She's so ugly. No, she's pretty she's a, cute. She's a very good looking woman. And she's, she's not super young. It's amazing. Like, like yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, anyway. No, we were, me and Alicia were just talking about <clears throat> like Salma Hayek. She's very, she's very attractive for being as old as she is. You know, <laughs> there's a movie where she goes swimming in the ocean, nude. Oh, I feel like I sexually harassed her. <laughs> <You're> just, I <laughs> <hate> her. <laughs> She's but she's a good-looking a, woman. Yeah, you know, well, like in, <laughs> and she's married to like a billionaire now, I think. So. Yeah, yeah, in, like in Desperado, you know. Like, oh yeah, you see her somewhat nude, and, and so it's like we're like, is that? Oh, those are real, like you know, boobies. It's all real, man. And so you know, <laughs> Google's the world of Google. Yeah. So, but no, I'll I'll say stuff like when I said the stuff about Lady Gaga, she mm-hmm. kind of heard that. And she's like, at least she's like. Oh, so you think Lady Gaga's fine now? I'm like, <laughs> you're so dumb. No. Which, because Alicia doesn't, like, come up, she doesn't say anything, like, jealousy-wise. Yeah, sure. But we both have it there. So I think, Every, I think, in the end, a little jealousy, it's cool. There is a healthy level of all things. Over jealousy, where you're just like, I'm going to fucking kill you. If you ever feel that way, that's not Yeah, if you're actually way. harming somebody, like, if you don't yeah. have a strong, healthy relationship and it turns into, like, Beer eight men belittlement and the like yeah. you know murder. That's not yeah. Oh, we, you couldn't get him, you stupid ugly bitch. <laughs> you, you, know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you're getting to that point, it's like when, oh, when they really down. think that that's what you think. That's not yeah. Good. Like um, I don't know. When it comes to celebrities, I, I, I used to get celebrities. I used, I'm, yeah, I'm not I'm really the same way. Sl- I don't see it as like real. Yeah. It's not real. How are you gonna have a crush on somebody when it's like? <laughs> Alicia, like, you know, she liked Mark Wahlberg, and, you know, her standard people, like, you know, like Ryan Gosling, and yeah. some of those guys. It's not that she likes Alex him, Baldwin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Pre- Post shooting. Post shooting. Post shooting Alec Baldwin. <laughs> but no, mm, yeah. I don't know. 
So yeah, I think, like I said, I think a little jealousy is cool. Yeah. So if you guys ever struggle with jealousy, just learn to try to control it. He's done it. Just own it and say, you know what? It's okay to be a little jealous. Yeah. They like it. I'm a very, like I said, I'm very like low key in some of the things I, yeah, in my um, the way I respond to things. Mm-hmm. But I don't know when it comes. I'm trying to think how I, I how to say it. But in my the, what my personality is, I'm very. I come across like I don't care when I do care. Sure. I I don't have that. I don't know if I just lack that emotional. Okay. You know how like Elena, you can't tell. Yeah. She has a hard time like yeah. expressing herself. <clears throat> you, you have a good. Poker I don't face. express myself very well. Yeah. Okay. My poker face. I can. Yeah. I can have a. Yeah. He's a have, stone cold killer. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I got this. Speaking of stone cold killers, we were at uh, Pearl Tea, getting some boba tea. <laughs> Stone cold. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right? No, so we're in there. Is that at the mall? Yeah. Okay, it, I just saw that. Person. It's actually pretty good. Um, I've seen if there's more. There's one in Pasco, but I don't know if it's still there. Hmm. So, so I don't know if like the one from Pasco moved oh, to into the mall. the new spot. But, um, anyway, we're, going, we're in there. We get our bobas. Mm-hmm. And then, what was it? Um, this guy goes in there, and he's wearing this cool-ass... 49er jacket, which I thought was pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. But he's kind of thuggy looking. And then I just maybe it dawned on me, I'm like, hey babe, you can't really go into like a you can't really be thuggy and go to Boba Tea and order like right. yeah, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, can I get a passion fruit um yeah. tea with a little bit of blueberry boa please? Thanks. Yeah. Fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, after all hard. Motherfucker, you just got boba tea. Get out of here. <laughs> Sitting out in the middle. <laughs> I'm yeah. sipping your tea. <laughs> you are not a thug. Sorry. You just, <laughs> you're just you going to Boba Tea by yourself. Was he with anybody? Yeah, I think it was with his like, brother or something. Little brother or something. Hey, he seemed like a really nice fella. Don't get me wrong. He, just, he had that persona. He was a nice fella. He had that, that persona like he seemed very gangster, you know, yeah. like very comes across like trying to be hard. Yeah. But at the same time, then he's like, uh, you know, you hear him talk and then all of a sudden he's like, uh, can I get the triple mango green tea, but please light on the milk because my tummy does not like that stuff. Black does intolerant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That stuff. But you know, it just <laughs> sounds so funny. Like I'm like looking, just like yeah, you know, you don't. You can be the most gangster until you come to this place. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, being gangster and then volunteering in an old folks home. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Some things just don't coincide. Yeah, right? I've <laughs> been gangbanging all day. Did I ever tell you my Spokane story about the thug kids downtown? No. <laughs> you might have. So there are a bunch of white kids that looked like rich runaways, right? Yeah. And they're, like, down by the bus station. We're at, like, the heart of, like, downtown Spokane. So mm-hmm. there's, like, a lot of different life that it coexists down in that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We've talked about Spokane, which okay. is pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like... There are legit crazy people, like, shit in there. Well, I told you about that homeless guy that somehow woke up in a foreign... He was sleeping in a fucking furniture store. Yeah, I mean, I love Spokane, but there are some people there. (laughs) These kids are, like, probably 14. Oh, God. And they are thug. I mean, it was, like, back in the day with, like, the backward caps and the... Bag... When they... Before 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 scanny... Yeah. Scanny pants? Before they were scanny (laughs) jeans. The scanny Uh, jeans or scanny pants. Yeah, before they looked like, uh, fucking that, uh, BTK or whatever. The BTK, that's a murderer. (laughs) (laughs) The fucking Korean group. The B2K? B... Whatever the fuck B2K, I think it is. I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm listening. I'm going to look that up. Uh, so we're down there listening to these kids, and they're talking, trying to be, like, tough. And their word was hard. <laughs> One of the boys goes, like, I'm hard. And the other boys goes, man, I made you hard. Whoa. <laughs> we were laughing <laughs> so hard ourselves. <laughs> we're just like, do you have any idea what you just fucking said? I, I want to know if the other I guy made said. you hard. No, he didn't even react. I'm like, that's how young you are. You don't even realize what you idiots are saying. You're what? children. That's what you said. And you're making each other hard? Come on, man. <laughs> Muff anger. I should have gone to him. Get out of room. <laughs> I know. He's making you hard. You know, guys, get out of here. I got kids. This is disgusting. My kids don't need to see that shit. Oh, my God. You make me hard. There was a band called B2K. 
Well, this is a band that's famous Which that was right Omari, now. and I remember that, and that's what it is. No, these guys right now. It's the one that uh, Sadie's all into. Um, it's not BTK, because he, was, he really BTS. was. BTS. Like, BTS, one letter. God, it was one of them alphabetical. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. BTS. God, I don't know what it is that drives me. Although, uh, but... have you ever had sudden BTS, and then you couldn't find a toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Do you suffer from BTS? If you do, you might find a tense <laughs> urge to shit. Yeah, take, um, what's the, uh, some of the, <laughs> take, Sri Lanka. Take, Madam <laughs> yeah, Take, with 100 grams of Sri Lanka, you know, yeah. you can, you can be free of that B2T. What is it, B2K? <laughs> B2T. <laughs> B2T. BTS. 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 You can be free of BTK, too. Yeah, BTS. Do you want to bind, torture, and kill? <laughs> right? That's what that yeah, means. common side effects of BTS. <laughs> oily stool. Any any side effect of any pill, you're gonna have an oily fucking ass. Don't you? Yeah, right. And don't you love it when and it's death? It's a, yeah. And in certain cases, extreme, you may find death. I know. Okay. If you're suffering from depression, don't take this. And the whole time they're talking, the I know are, it's for depression. The commercials. Oh, though? they're at a, a farmer's market, looking like, "Honey, have you ever seen a stamp of yourself?" <laughs> and they're like, I, "You may become comatose." Yeah, we need to stamp. Dude, those pills make you just a oh, zombie. Geez, problem. Right? Some of them. Yeah. There's one where the girl has like, I don't know if she has an irritable bowel syndrome or something, mm. but she's her and her friend are doing a podcast. Yeah. They're oh yeah. And she's yeah. like. Yeah, and then she gets up and has to go take a shit. Speaking of, sorry, I, gotta <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'm just like, nah. nah. You know, like you so hold I, that shit in. You can just pop Let me it. Tell I, you. I, I think I got super like. Uh, I get so literal with that. I'm like, oh, that's so dumb. They can just pop it. I know. Pause right? I know. I'm so sorry, like, you, bitch. You're fucking up this podcast like, every fucking week with your bowel. <laughs> I know. Unless it's live, I suppose. And then she comes and she's like. <sighs> I took my pill. I know. <laughs> We're doing a great podcast now for two seconds. I know. And then, we don't even see halfway through the show. I want to see the, yeah. you know, like when you see the actors, they're always like, you know, you never hear what they're saying. They're yeah. just like, <laughs> you're like, what the fuck are you guys saying? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the bell worked. My boner's back. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, oh this God. hasn't gone down in 15 <laughs> yeah. hours. I am gang green. Oh man, I know. I want to see a commercial. It's all about the side effects, you know, where somebody like I was gonna say we actually already do, uh, where somebody's like trying some Conor McGregor whiskey <laughs> with a little boys? douse of uh, residue from the. Uh, Our boys are out here. Um, hey guys, what do you guys need? Do you guys need help getting the macaroni? Well, you're doing help. We'll see if Elena can help. Yeah. We're busy, boys. Yeah. They want to help with macaroni. See? Anyway, about being good fathers. Um, we're a Excellent. Go get your big sister to help. Yeah. She's not doing nothing. Go see if Elena can help. See? Boom. I do want to give a shout-out today. Uh, there's a, a man, Julian, who's been listening to the show religiously. I got oh. a video from Orlando. He's staying with Orlando, my brother. Julian Mercado? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Julian's so, Julian... Cool. Has been uh, watching us like every week. Uh, Orlando sent a video last night of him just laying on the couch watching our podcast. So. Really? No, that's no not fair. way. Hold on, who? Julian, we're not Julian. Gonna turn oh, on. You're a good guy. There you go. There's your shout out. Yeah, Christmas three shout bell out. shout out. <laughs> not terminate. Not terminate. terminate. <laughs> Poor Julian. Wrong. He's like, damn. I'm just trying to help out, bro. And this is what I get. Come on, guys. <laughs> Yeah, Julian was here. That one. When, yeah. uh, you guys had that big party with yeah. yep. Valerie and everybody? Uh -huh. Yeah, Julian mm -hmm. was here. I was talking to him outside. Yeah. I thought yeah, that was very cool. cool. It he's... made me very happy to see. Yeah, Julian, spread that shit out, bro. Yeah. Out. Orlando, the true celebrity that he is. is yeah, we're going to have to get on here. Him. That's what he told me. See, I can't tell if this whiskey's good because it hadn't. <laughs> it still has the residue. It's fine. I'll drink Actually, this and then. Actually, it doesn't taste bad for having residue. Not at all. Conor McGregor. Good job. Proper 12. Yeah, yeah. It's proper I don't even know how to say it. Talk fucking it's Proper 12. Yeah. It depends on if you're trying to be Irish or if I, you're trying I, to be. I don't know if he's Scottish or Irish. I don't know. Do they talk like this? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, Timmy Flanagan over here. <laughs> I, I think an Irish or a Scottish accent would be so super dope. Oh, yeah. Um, I love the, the fucking Skittles. Is it Skittles or Starburst? Taste the rainbow? That it's a contradiction. 
the Scottish Korean. Oh. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he's dressed in the whole outfit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a contradiction. That's, a, like, that's a contradiction. <laughs> he's a yeah. Scottish. He's Scottish right. Irish I or Scottish like, uh, Korean or something. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was such a funny. Commercial. I love those accents. I really do. Oh, I, I, do. I could talk like that all the time. I think that one. So if I had an accent, it would definitely be one of those two. Yeah. Or a Boston. Boston. Maybe a Boston. Well, you know why? They it's, sound fucking mean. There's sort of connections there, you know. Either Boston or even New York, you know, New like, York. And just cause, Aston, because Aston's me. more, isn't that more Boston? Yeah, what, what was that commercial that, uh... Yeah. Oh, the the radio commercial? It was one with, like, had Ben Affleck in it. Oh, it was shit. it was from, like, the Super Bowl. I'm trying to remember. It, it was pretty funny, though. Yeah. But they were all from Boston. Boston, South Boston. Boston. Yeah. That's where, like, I think I think that's where Ben Affleck is. They from, are, they're from Boston, yeah. That's, that's what, what I liked about, from. like, Good Will Hunting. How about them apples? How about, uh, you see that movie, uh... Ah, shit. The one where they're from South... Southie? Southie. Oh, the, the town? The fucking town. Oh, I love that movie. That movie's great. That movie's so that good. That movie's fucking great. Man. I don't need you to... Like, that, that... The one line from it is... Like, not the line, but the one scene is where he's, like, comes up to him. I don't, I don't need you to question this. I just... We're gonna... I need to do this. Are you down? Alright, let's, let's go. Alright, let's go. I was like, Dad, that's a homie. He's that's right. Homie. I gotta admit, I went until to you that. get there and you're like, <laughs> "What are we doing? Hold up, put on this, hey, put on this, put on this mask. mask. We're gonna fucking." Do you ever the scene when they turn the corner slowly and they're wearing those creepy ass nut yeah. masks and it just slows down and that kid's like staring at him? Creepy as shit. My brother and I. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that either for someone. We have two favorite scenes. There's one where uh, the dad's talking to him in prison. He goes, "Well." I'll see you this, like I'll see you again one side or the other. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. Dying, that was cool because that that that's actor's a, badass anyway. Well, that's a good line too because it's like yeah. you know and was you're either gonna one? be in here or you're gonna be on the in, in dead. Was that the one too where he goes to like the AA meeting and the guy was talking about his wife? She goes, "She's Mario Escobar pushing me out to sea." Or whatever, it, like it might be, yeah, yeah. Not not pushing me. That was I, I got that what? mixed up with the Sopranos line. But she's my Eskimo. She saved me or something like that. I don't know any fucking way. I think that was what it was from. Yeah. And it was a really good line. I botched the shit out of it. But good movie. The fucking oh, the town. town. I'm going to be watching that soon. I, I, I just watched it about a month or two. Dude, I'm on a two-week break. I'm going to hang some shit out in the garage. That's one of the thing on my bucket list. What are you hanging? My bucket list. Before I die, oh, I want to hang some on? shit. I got two weeks. So let's talk about this. What my AIDS are terminal. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't tell you. I've been fighting them for years. Couldn't you tell that weight loss? You are looking slim, sir. I've been looking pretty good lately. He's like on my bucket list. No, on my bucket list. No, on my to do list. Yeah, I want to look good. I'm that in the town. I do need to start. I was telling Elise, I'm going to try to get on this. Dash diet thing they call it oh. to lower my blood pressure as I drink. I do the same thing. I uh, drink whiskey five nights a week and then beer two nights a week, and I alternate in a way that makes sure that it. Uh, I'm still trying not to. I know what we're drinking right now, but I'm still being being. I'm better. getting really good at sipping. It just. I'm getting better maintaining. Yeah, um, I'm, I just got to get that trust back with my wife. Yeah, because um, obviously, like, there's been a few times I shit the sticks drinking. We literally. I think a lot of us been there. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. So I'm trying to get that because I don't want her to think that I'm gonna be this raging. Not a rager. I wasn't a rager alcoholic. You are always I, a very kind man, but no. It, just, for wives, it's different. who who wants to be around a fucking drunk. And that's kind of what she said. Today. The women have to take. I don't care want of an alcoholic husband. And I'm like, I have to reassure her that I'm not that person. I'm done. With, obviously, I'm not done drinking. Obviously, but I'm also. Don't want to get to that point where I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> that was a segment from our sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Proper 12. Proper 12. <laughs> really good whiskey. Yeah. I do like it. It's not bad. It's very smooth. Well, what's the uh, price point on it, if you don't mind sharing? 150 bucks. No, it's like $24. 24 okay. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was actually very, very cheap. Because uh, sometimes at the liquor store, I've seen whiskeys for like 700 bucks. I know, it's ridiculous. I've seen, like, I took pictures of one before where it was, like, literally, like, $1,000 or something yeah. like that. I'm like, God. Wow, I, as much as I enjoy it, I don't think I could ever justify How that. trash? You know what? If I was a gajillionaire, like, 
millionaire and I just had that money and that thousand was like 10 bucks to me. Well, even, I would try it, but I would make that. people, like, I mean, they'll take a bunch, say this is $8,000. They're not going to drink it all the time. They're going to drink a little bit, cork it, and put it back for a while. Yeah, see, drunk yeah. me would be like, I would just drink it all. That'd be the problem is, you, you know, know what I mean? be like, oh, this is fucking good. <laughs> Keep drinking. <laughs> yeah. I'm drink more. Oh, no. Never fucking remember. <clears throat> like, you know, sipping it, though, is not bad. Sipping no, shit. in our worst days, we were finishing off that big ass bottle of uh, 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 Canadian Canadian Club. Remember the big uh, our, <laughs> plastic? Uh, well, no. Drugs. In our early days of this podcast, we were finishing off all that fucking crown all the time. Yeah. By the time the podcast yeah. was over, we were fucking just toast, good dude. Stuff. After I deep throated that mic, I was like, I can't do that no more. Dude, that was gold. I'm like, Ooh. that was gold. <laughs> Dr. Phil approved. He called himself. Yeah, he's like, Jesse, you deep throat that mic like you want to deep throat your life. Let me you tell do you something, with- Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a WAP. You know what that means? You gave me a wet ass penis. <laughs> I want to feel in the back of my throat. <laughs> Chelsea. You know, you know how you felt in the back of your throat. <laughs> Fucking Dr. Phil. <laughs> Robin, what do you think? Can you imagine? Oh. Do you think he sounds that way when he's fucking? <laughs> <laughs> right there! <laughs> This feels good to me. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm taking care of number one myself. I'll take care of you later. <laughs> I know. If you don't love yourself uh, first, you can't love <laughs> those. <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite Dr. Phil stories oh, God. is talking about being a tough guy. Because, you know, Dr. Phil's the toughest. Of tough. On the streets, I grew yeah. up in the suburbs. He told, he told the story like, Whoa, South uh, Dakota. walking to the car from dinner. And a guy started walking our way. And I looked at him and said, Don't you come any closer. And he ran off. Robin's like, Okay, you did that. He's sexy. Be like, Yeah, well, that guy had your fucking key yeah. because he was the ballet. <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing a red vest. It's got to be a gang thing. He stole my car. <laughs> For some reason, he almost gave, he gave it back, though. Yeah, he was trying to give me the car back. <laughs> Didn't ever get it back. Uh, I can see him being that idiotic. It's so stupid. He's, his ego's got to get in his way. Um, but yeah. Um, one of the other things I was going to bring up. Um, I swear my kid just said Papa. I don't know. These kids. This isn't one I was going to bring up. But <laughs> this is my ADH moment. ADHD. Well, we just heard the kids uh, yell as good dads. We were concerned. Yeah, we were right. Listened again so, for a few moments. We we can't show you the our room, but the doors is like a double French door, so you got windows. Sometimes so we'll can take see you it. on a tour. We should, but like so we can see our kids, and so they'll come out the windows and they'll look at us. Thank you, little mama. Love you. She looked all like what? <laughs> what? No, she doesn't ever do that. <clears throat> she thinks it maybe, but no. Um, but they we can see them, so we hear them all the time. Yeah. You can sometimes hear the bird in the background, obviously. But anyway, no. What I was gonna bring up was, well, actually, since I said something about ADHD, my dogs. I swear to God, Max. You know Max. Yeah. He's a runaway all the time. And then our other dog, Millie. Mm-hmm. So these two dogs, I, I I'm convinced have um, some kind of like mental illness. <laughs> so Max is OCD, right? He'll be in the middle of our yard, ten feet away or less from coming into the house. Mm -hmm. And I yell for Max, come in the house. So he walks 20 feet to to the front of the yard where the bushes are. He'll walk along the bushes all the way and he'll come over and he'll get on sidewalk and then he'll come in the house. He does that that every fucking time. I'm like, Max, hurry the fuck up. It's cold out here, dude. I'm I'm going around the lawn. (laughs) He takes the long way and he's slow and he does it every time. And he also uses eyeballing. Like, I noticed that when I was there. He's just fucking eyeballing, like, can I run now? Yeah, I tried to do that because I had the door shut because it was actually yeah. extra cold today. Yeah. And he was eyeballing me, and I was like, I just opened the door to Max. And he's like, fuck. Oh, yeah, fuck. I don't quite have – I'm almost to the point that he, like, won't fuck with me. Yeah. Like, I think I've been around long enough. <laughs> 
those times, man. Yeah, it's all like, take off. It he takes off, and I was like, Max! And he's just trotting down the road. Dude, is the slowest guy to get in the house, but if, he, if you yell for him and he's already in the street, he's gone. He won't look. No. He will not turn back. One he time knows. he has looked at me. I just and then, waddle off. And then usually he'll come back because he'll see, like, oh, shoot, dad's mad. Yeah. But there's been those times he's like, you know what? I'm going to test dad today. And he'll just leave. I'm like, you motherfucker. And so I'll let him. Yeah. I ain't chasing you. Get out of here. And he'll be back. And he always, he always comes back. Yeah. But Millie. Hello. Hey, Chloe. <laughs> the girls are having a sleepover. Yeah. At home. Um, so thanks. You got to deal with all the kids. <laughs> I don't know if JJ's been in this, but Millie, she has ADHD because she's fucking, she'll just have these moments of like, squirrel, squirrel. You remember yeah. that movie where the dog was always like, squirrel? Yes, yes, yes. Was that up? It was. Yep. No, yep, so, that was really funny. That was good. So Millie does that and she'll forget to go to the bathroom. Huh. She'll and be outside she'll for a while. Floor. She'll go be outside for a while. And, yeah. And then, no, she's been really good at not being on the floor. Good. Um, but then oh, she'll want to go. Millie. As soon as she comes back in, she wants to go back out. Yeah, she's. Very annoying. Yeah. Eating beans is bad again. Uh oh. She's ripping it up. Yeah. She got in trouble for that to die. But yeah, no, my dogs have ADHD and no OCD. So I was just like, fucking guys. Fucking dogs. Our uh, dog, Johnny, it's funny if she gets in the garbage and we, <laughs> we start looking around, like, who got in the garbage? And her muzzle's like, Bleh. she gets this really nervous look. She looked terrifying the first time we saw her. We're like, oh, fuck. It's just her being super, super nervous. She's like, fuck. I'm so nervous. she looks really mean. Like her teeth are totally showing, but she's just terrified. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. Dogs are funny like that, though. They are. I think they know. They know. Like, I'll know if, like. Dogs are extremely dogs, emotional animals. I'm like, hey, so. Millie, you can tell when she's in trouble, she's just like, <laughs> and I'll look at her and she'll just, like, look away. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Millie, you pissed me off today, man. God. Don't piss me off, I tell you. But no, I can't bring up. So I, I love Christmas time. I do too. I think from retail, I hate some Christmas songs. Sure. And one of the songs I hate, and it's probably on my top, top of my list, is by Paul McCartney. Oh no! Christmas time. Oh I no! <laughs> I like it because I like Paul McCartney. I know. I told Alicia at Tom's. I will say hate this. I, I no. I understand if it weren't a Paul McCartney song, I would hate it too. Like I cannot. Like I hear it a lot. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> bonk, 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 bonk. I know it's like a classic Christmas it song. It is, but it is definitely unique. <laughs> I can understand. Christmas. I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine listening to it on loop. Uh, so. Oh, dude, on loop, yeah. And even just in the car when it's on, I'm just like, God, I can't fucking stand this song. Yeah. <laughs> and when I found out, you know, like long years ago, I found out it was Paul McCartney just before I knew you. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But um, I just was like, I don't know why. I just can't stand the way he sounds in this yeah. song or something. And then like, the guy can sing good. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but well, I told him. right. Yeah. Sir Paul McCartney, I love you to death. I love this song. So I I, I, I respect you, but I like this song. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, that's we learn to coexist. Yeah. I, this guy loves the Beatles. I love him. He You're loves good. the Beatles, and he loves that Paul McCartney. I do. I'm the op I don't hate the Beatles. I'm just not a huge Beatles fan. Sure. Just, sure. Not, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about the Beatles. I just... Well, and I grew up with it. Like, uh, I had a cousin. I love, I love, like, oldies. I love oldies music, but I don't know, just the Beatles. There's a few songs, I won't lie, that sure. I love from the Beatles. Um, but overall, I'm not, like, the, a huge, like, all oh, Beatles, that's my shit. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. But you know what? And that's what makes people be able to coexist. Is you have these different sets of. Well, could you imagine shit. if we all just loved the same album? That's That'd something be they terrible. To. There would be nothing new in the world. Yeah, you know how boring it was if me and you like exactly the same thing all the fucking time. Yeah, like we don't. We we might be best buds, but we don't like the same shit all the time. But like, all the time. I don't know. We just get along real well. Speaking Most of, of stuff, uh, shit, I can't think of any other song I hate. Yeah. Oh, I hate the Mariah Carey song too. It's cause I it's cause I worked retail and I, I heard don't these like songs. Mariah Carey like at all. That's like that's obviously one song. of her top songs. But I love that song, man. She's she, got pipes. She sings very well, and I'm not taken away uh, from it. Don't want a life of yeah. Christmas. 
I won't even wish for the snow. <laughs> Uh, I don't. Yeah, there are some annoying songs, some Christmas songs. Um, There's one by no, I like the Michael Michael Bublé one. Have you noticed I Michael Bublé has a lisp? Oh yeah. My mom always gets I, pissed at me when I say that, but he's, Merry Christmas, baby. I just like that crooner. Yeah. Oh, I do too. Like I, I don't know. I, think, I, mean, I like the, the song. I mean, it's so it's, fucking sexy. Like, dude, you got a lisp. And you got a lisp. This Listen is. This is right. The music says it's this, only uh, time this once a year. Simply having <laughs> a wonderful Christmas time. All the I'm gonna listen for that because <laughs> songs now. <laughs> so good Those are not the words. I'm pretty okay. sure, but no, uh, not. I always say the this time is right. That's what's up. <laughs> I got a gun. And the bubble guts. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. lots of renditions to the song. You can make anything up. Yeah. Really. There was actually, and there was another song. I don't think it was by, I don't think it was a Christmas song, but like I said, I used to work retail at this mm-hmm. store called Bombay Company in the mall. Okay. And so there would be songs we'd hear over. There was one yeah. by Boy George. Mm. Oh, my God. I so, is that the last Christmas one? Or which one? I, it could be a Christmas song. It was a Boy George song, and I hated that fucking Y'all song. Y'all be there? Michael Douglas. Not Michael Douglas. What the fuck? McDonald's. Michael McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. Michael. <laughs> you, I heard Yama be there one more time. I had a Yama. What did you say? I'm going to Yama like. Whatever. Was that 40 year old virgin? I think so. Yama yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. will be there. Yama will be there. <laughs> that, dude. I had I could relate to that a hundred percent because yeah. we would listen to the same. It was like six it was songs like a loop, on the loop, right? yeah. and I'd work like at night, and I'd hear it over and over. And there'd be some songs I could tune out, sure, but there's just some I don't know if it's because they were probably catchy, but like the there boy go. boy George mm-hmm. that would come on. I think that's what Christmas time came on. Like you gotcha. I was like, Fuck <laughs> I can't get it out of my head. Yeah, yeah. And they get stuck in my head. Don't get sure, me wrong. Sure, sure, yeah. Just earlier, I think, um, when we were taking the kids, Christmas song was on. What was on? That fucking Christmas time song. And that's, and that's and that's what got me. You know what? I need to write this down. Yeah. I, I've been wanting to talk. I wanted to talk about it last week. Because <laughs> I hate that song. Yeah. I I'll love I'll have to think about the songs that I don't like. Paul McCartney, he, like I said, he sings great. Yeah. It's a it's a really well sung song. It's just I can't stand some of the some of it. I'm just like, sure. Well, it has a very particular sound. I mean, it's very. Uh, the time is right. Burn, burn, burn. Burn, burn, burn. stuffed. Burn, burn, burn. So is my butt. Burn, burn, burn. Simply, <laughs> <laughs> simply. <laughs> like it's very monotone Christmas for a while. Day, and it's like, Christmas time. <laughs> oh God, that's terrible. <laughs> You've got heartburn. <laughs> Indigestion. That stomach diarrhea. That's another song I can't fucking stand either. <laughs> so many fucking songs. I don't know. Oh, man. It's, as much as I might dog on that kind of stuff, yeah. like I, for me, like for outlets, music's one of my go to. Yeah, sure. Like when I'm ever in like a feeling down or feeling in a certain type of mood, mm-hmm. I just throw on music. Sure. I'll listen to music and I'll just. Zone yeah. out and like clean, or I just zone out in the car. Or... Yeah. Did I mention I bought a record player? Hell yeah, you did. Yeah. It's it's. Have you used it yet? Fun. Yeah. 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 I borrowed some of my parents' just that old noise. records. I don't know what it is about. I think it. it's that needle on. The yeah. I mean, it's like record. I just sounds so cool. Wanted and I found one for like fifteen bucks on Amazon. That was amazing. It really. One more cool one. Well. Sure. But yeah, it really on. wasn't. Um, like for what it was. It uh, it was worth every penny. Dude, I was I, shocked, and it's not. It's way more than fifteen bucks now. I would totally but, get a, a record player. There's some like rap albums I can get on uh, vinyl. Yeah, there yeah. I noticed that, that they do. They re- like, if you go to Target, they have a really yes. good selection. Of yeah, that. yeah, yeah. They had a Dell. <laughs> oh, uh, good computer. <laughs> Adele on vinyl. It's a new brand. Adele. No, Adele. She's great too. Yeah, that girl can sing. Yeah. She has an okay voice. All the sound. JJ used to love that. Yeah. Was it? I think it was that song. Good. You know what I liked? Do you remember was that it guy? Sorry what was the guy? <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. That, one? <laughs> that wasn't Adele. No. Uh, there was an Adele song that JJ would love when he was a little baby. Who's that one guy? Sam Smith? Is that his name? 
<laughs> First off, they. Is he they? Is, is, is they they? Yes, sir. Thank Sorry. God. Sorry, Sam Smith. What a dick. Dude, all I'm saying, Sam <laughs> Smith, I love your music. Yeah, he's a great music. I, I'm not I mean, they is a great I'm not going to call How do you, you do that, though? They is My great. issue with this, I love you, everybody out there, but they is a plural pronoun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you it's multiple a fucking people? plural. You're not a multiple person. You are a person. I. Yeah, yeah. Totally yeah. Knowledge, you could be a them. I totally want you to have a pronoun. No, them's a pronoun too. Them is a pronoun. That's multiple people it too. Them. Typically, them is, them's over there. So you need to. We all need to have a discussion about what the pronoun's going to be for people that don't want to be classified as either gender. I'm fine with that. What I'm not fine with Penguin. is people choosing to be called random words and calling it a pronoun. That doesn't work. And if we make it is super they confusing, a pronoun. It's starting to be, but the issue with that is it refers to multiple people. It is not proper He's language. He's a teacher. I am not anti you or who you are or who you want to be, and I think that yeah, that exactly. cause is totally valid and worthwhile. I'm anti that term, though. I want that, it how to... How do you call someone they? Hey, they. I want it to succeed, but none of us who don't identify with that are ever going to use it because it is. it has to make sense, first of all, yeah. and it has to be consistent. And then people will use Call me it. a me or a you. Yeah, that would be better than they. Yeah. They doesn't make sense. When you talk it's to me, plural. call you, me you. Your, when your, I talk to me, call me me. Unless you identify as multiple people. But then, I mean, that's a, something else. That's a disorder. Um, we can anyway, we'll I don't know. I, I really have no issue with like yeah. people. Having he has a beautiful voice. Back to Sam Smith. Yeah. Whatever. Off our is, ledge. Uh, yeah. You, horse or whatever sir, who will never hear this podcast anyway in a million years. That subscriber, freaking one of the third. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he was <laughs> no, now. No, they was. Fuck. <laughs> I know. Now they really dumped it. No, um, you was. You. See, you would be better. I yeah. would go with you. Yeah. I'm you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you me? <laughs> <laughs> see, but then it gets confusing. No, we no, need no. A new pronoun. When you, if I want to be called that, you just refer to me as you. Right? You, and, Parham. And then, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, you'd be like, You'd call me you. That'd be my name. You. You. Hey, you. Hey, you. Okay. You, you. <laughs> no. Um, anyway, there was that song he sang uh, a couple years ago uh, where he's breaking up. Oh. You say I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, know, uh, you don't, you don't think really... I know what you've done. Yeah. Love that song. Oh, dude, the way he carries that, you gave Holy me Holy crap. Pimps. I can't even. Do songs ever give you goosebumps? Oh, yeah, that one did. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the video. So, one thing, the gal in the video, super attractive. Okay. I think, wasn't she the blonde girl in, uh, like, Glee or something? Um, I'm not really into white girls, but that, that girl was pretty. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. I haven't never watched Glee. So, the music video, I hadn't watched a lot. But I, don't, I mean, I, I know some actresses. But I'm doesn't gonna... hold a candle to my wife, but she's a pretty girl. Uh, I think she was the one in that video, and the whole time she's like bawling her eyes out and mm -hmm. burning his clothes outside, and like I was like, man, that's intense with that song on top of it. Man, good, good music, Sam Smith. I'm, I'm seeing what the song's called. I don't remember. I don't know. I'm done hating myself for feeling. I'm done crying myself away. <laughs> that's not it. I'm not like that. Stay with me. The only one? I'm sorry. No, that's that. Stay yeah. with me. Because oh. I'm on my knees. Okay. I don't want to play music this, because you get copyrighted. I know, right? <laughs> I'll just do my shitty rendition of it. Disorder. Uh, Dis Disorder. No, it's called... Um, I'm not the only one, I think. Okay. You know I'm not the only one. I think. Anyway. Good, I'm good, good song. Uh, only one. Because oh, yeah, you're yeah, not okay, the okay, only yeah, lover yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the person's with. But the yes. beat and everything. Oh, they do. The song's it. great. Yeah, there's certain songs that, and I think I've talked about this before, that give me, like, I'll get goosebumps. And there's yeah. songs that are actually, like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the song, mm -hmm. the way they sing it, or it's the way I relate to the song. Like the messaging behind it, yeah. Fucking, I'll tear up. Yeah, I've teared up. Like I haven't gotten that emotional. I've, I've gotten like emotional, or like I don't get emo. Like I, <gasps> no. but there's times where I'm like, 
it, it just tears me yeah. up. Like I, I don't know if it's <laughs> because at that moment maybe it's like a song that has to do with how someone feels about themselves sure. or something. Yeah, yeah. So it's like I relate to it because I can feel that because that's how I feel or something. Yeah. So it's like, fuck. yeah. Like there's uh, this how great thou art by uh, Susan Boyle. That one got <laughs> under my skin. She seems good though. I, mean, I gotta yeah. say, like I when I was super into the town, I just started like watching a trailer for that movie in my head with her singing that song. I thought that could work. That could fucking work. She kind of looks like Carrie Underwood. Yeah. She, she's a pretty girl. Carrie Underwood's a pretty girl. This girl's a pretty girl, but anyway, she's pretty. She, she real pretty. You don't know what pretty is. Does <laughs> yeah. You don't know what pretty is. Yeah. See? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. See? I wonder if that was wrong. You, you know what I want them to make? Hi, see? I want the, the gangsters. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. from New York, yeah. see? Did people really talk that way? Yeah, of course they did, see? Yeah. <laughs> like, we're down on the dock, see? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I pictured a penguin would talk. <laughs> it's like Batman. Well, oh, and it's like. Batman, see? Yeah, yeah. Get you. yeah with a little uh, finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. A little filter for yeah. a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, the, the Corella de Ville cigarette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, because yeah. didn't he have the penguin claw? No, he's got to have the Chipotle cigarette. <laughs> I, and I got a feeling like the the main bad guy was like, "Yeah, she, we know what you did. She, we're gonna put some rubber cement boots on you, rubber cement boots, whatever." Yeah. I'm not a very good gangster. You know, she, like, put some rubber cement then, boots on I you. I think like the little like scientific guy's like, "Yeah, she, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna moisturize it. Yeah, she." Yeah, that's the funniest fucking like. I tell you, tone. I love the mafia so much. So all any time we can talk about a funny version of the mafia, I just love it. Oh man, uh, my ears! Oh, so we've talked about losing it moments many times on this podcast. Uh-huh. I had one. Oh, um, please, a couple nights ago. Share. Yeah. So I was playing a video game. I was playing this game. Great when game. When do we not lose it over a video? So I've been good for years and yeah. years. Do video games piss me off? They 100% do. I was playing this game, Guardians of the Galaxy. A fantastic game. Okay. Probably the best soundtrack of any game I've ever actually played. Some great 80s music. Cool. Amazing music. Wait a minute. Guardians of the Galaxy. Like the movie? Like the movie. They made a video game? Yeah, they have a video game. It's very interactive, and there's like... I'll be damned. There's certain, like... You'll get choices you can make. Okay. You know, and the dialogue between the cast is yeah. fucking hilarious. It's like, huh. it's a really good story. The dialogue's is funny. Is it like an open world type or is it more? Uh, uh, it's kind of, well, there's there's open, it's not open, open world, yeah. but like when you're like on certain missions, it's semi open. Okay. But you're still directed in a certain path. Sure. You still have to figure out where to go. But, gotcha. Okay. But like, you still have all this interaction. It's very movie ish like. Uh-huh. Um, just very well done, but there was this fighting this part where you're fighting and I had, I've done, I did it about 20 times. Holy mm. fuck. I was getting, and I, when I say 20 times, I'm not joking. It was probably like 20 times. I was like, son of a bitch. And I was just like, God damn it. And I put the controller down and it was this controller. I bought off of fucking, um, Amazon. It was like, it, it was a cheapish controller. Sure. I was like, God, fuck man. Piece of shit game. You know, like yeah. getting so mad. Cause it was, it was hard. You know, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Like, and I'm, I, I consider myself pretty good with games. Yeah. Uh, this particular one is just, it was just very tough. You, I just kept dying and dying and dying. And I just grabbed the control and I fucking threw it and I hit my fucking, uh, my fireplace. Yeah. Oh. And the, and the part of the controller broke. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, and I just was like, fuck. Not mad because I, I broke yeah, yeah, it. I was yeah. just like, whatever. I, at that moment, I didn't care. I was just like, I need to go outside. I didn't calm down. Yeah. So I went outside and I fucking smashed the fuck out of that controller. <laughs> <laughs> you felt better, didn't you? No, dude, I destroyed it that thing. It was that fucking controller's fault. I, I, dude. I fucking <laughs> touched down, spiked oh the fuck God. out of that Let controller. It shot up and it went in the middle of the yard. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. And then I was just like, I went, walked over there, grabbed it, put it in the garbage can. And I was like, and then I went downstairs, <laughs> grabbed another controller, yeah. you know, like, came back up, and then uh, then I was good. When I was young. I, and then, like, a couple, like, times, I tried about four more times, and then I beat it. <laughs> yeah. I finally beat it, but I was just like, oh, my God. That, Man. that was the first time I broke a controller in years. 
Oh, I used to look like Chevy Chase in a National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation when he's in the front yard trying to get the lights to work, and he goes, gie, 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 and like plugs the lights. That's in. what I was just doing. I used to like grab the sides of the controller yeah. and squeeze them together so hard That's until I, I heard them like start popping, and then I would like stop. I tried that, but it was such a. <sighs> <blood of control. laughs> It wouldn't budge. Oh, I was that fucking weak. <laughs> and then you get more mad because like, you called me a pussy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think right after I squeezed it, I was like, I know. I fucking uh-huh. just chucked it and it, God. and the piece came off. Isn't it funny like, how it. worthless we feel? Like, we get this rage because it's like, we feel so, like, oh, I was so, <laughs> just like, mad. yeah. Oh my God. At least he's like, are you okay? I'm like, oh. I'm fine. So She's like, maybe you should play this game right now. I'm like, no, I, I have to. Don't tell it. me what I'm to not do. gonna go to bed until I beat the game. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, that's not happening. I need to beat this now. Like not the game, but I need to beat this part. And, yeah. and like I said, it was probably about five to ten minutes later I I beat it. Yeah. Um I was talking to my friend Nick because he's one playing it, and I was like, Bro, this game's pissed me off. He's like, Well, try this or this, because he played it. Okay. I'm like, I did that. I just keep fucking dying. This piece of shit. <laughs> I was like, RIP to my room. And he goes, <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. And I was like, I'm not joking. That's fucking what happened. I fucking destroyed my remote, man. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he just laughs. You know, like, oh my God. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happens. So, I mean, you know what, guys? Same people. I'm a real guy out there. I fucking have these struggles just like all, I have these all of you guys. Urges to destroy. Oh, dude. Um, super. I bought Madden 22 today. Did you? I did. Oh, yeah. um, I had a dream last night I have that I ran into somebody that I went to high school with, and he was now the coach of, like, Pasco High or something. Oh. And so, like, the media was, like, following him, and everyone was, like, loving him. And mm-hmm. he saw me, and, like, we shook hands. He's like, how you doing? I'm like, I'm doing good. You're obviously doing well. And he's like, yeah, you playing any sports? Golf. <laughs> That's a sport. And I woke up, and I'm not actually ashamed of that in my daily life. I don't uh-huh. care. <clears throat> but I didn't play sports Golf's in tough. high school. And I'm at the age now yeah. I kind of regret that I didn't. Because, like, now I'm too old. So it's like, you know, that, that's over. That was a different time in your life. You, too, know, though, you know, I was different. I yeah. wasn't into it then. Uh, but Elliot, I'm like, looking, I'm like, he's a big kid. Like, he could have the ability. He's not a... That's how I feel about Elena. Tough guy kid. You know what I mean? Like, okay. he's a... A very sweet boy. Yeah. But, like, I had this feeling this morning, like, God, I don't want him. Like, I didn't know how the game worked until college. Like, I didn't even get. Yeah, Madden now is a lot different than Madden. Usually. Oh, I don't mean Madden. Oh, I, I, I mean, Madden's I mean, a lot different. Football. Bro. I mean, like, Football's I went different. to my first college football game I went to, and I'm like, what's the point? And they're like, we're trying to get past 10 yards. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So we're not, we're not trying to just get it through there. Like, that's the ultimate goal. But yeah, like, I've yeah. always had people ask so, me questions. Yeah, I, I mean, think Blanca used to ask me questions. So like, I used to watch well, and I, I like it. And I, I'm still not to the point where, like, I could tell you, like, oh, that's going to be a call. Like, eh, yeah, I can catch I, it. I can like a false start yeah. or, like, something like that like I can get. Usually. But I don't catch every time that there's going to be a flag. Yeah, yeah, like, my yeah. brother's been watching it since he was, like, a baby. Yeah, so I, he, think, I think me and your brother have spoke. Yeah. We can talk. Sport. You guys are pretty see. comparable. With yeah. sports, yeah. And so, like, I'm getting there. Like, I'm not an idiot anymore. But I'm definitely not, like, I couldn't tell you who every player so is. So, kind of, I used you know. to be that person where I could, yeah. I was really, like, into sport. I was watching Sportsman all the time. Mm-hmm. And I was really involved. Yeah. Over the years, it kind of went. It, decreased. Yeah, it decreased yeah. a little bit. And then, um, so now, I mean, I'm still into it. But, I like, there's players, thing moves that I, yeah. I don't. I don't know right. about it's like I used to. Yeah, I'll know like the big guys. I'll know like Gronkowski. I know yeah, yeah, because he's funny as fuck. And then like Tom Brady, obviously. Yeah, yeah. who? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, Rob, Rob Wilson. I used to not like Tom Russell Brady Wilson. just on principle. I fucking love that guy. I got in there. I, I do fucking love. It's that hard guy. not to. He is so fucking good. And he's, Russell Wilson, love Russell Wilson. He's my my quarterback. Uh, even him, he's been. Weird. I think he's been more. I don't know what it's all about. Rubbing me the wrong way. Even really? Nick said that. Really? Nick's a huge Seahawks fan. Yeah. He's like, I don't know. Russell Wilson gets on my fucking nerves. Like, like things he talks about or just the way he plays? Know, just the way he is. Yeah, I think it's the way he plays because he always like wants to throw the bomb. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know, he'll get it. Don't well, get me wrong. But sure. But there's times he should be <clears throat> checking down and stuff. On Something plays, needs but... to be uh, looked at with Seattle. We played like shit this year. I don't know. Anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to get into that because I can't talk. But that's cool. You got Madden. 
Yeah, so like my thought is like I want Elliot to at least know how the fucking game works. Well, apparently while I was out trying to help my cousin move this morning, Elliot was here trying to figure out the game on his own. Waka heard him yelling so fucking loud. She's like, what is wrong? It's like, it's game of work! Every time he'd do anything, the guys would hit him. And he was getting really mad. He's like, why are they keep mad at me? And I'm like, buddy, that's the whole point. Yeah. He got mad once. He ran it like 20 yards and then got tackled and got fucking livid. And I'm like, buddy, that's good. Like, that's yeah, yeah. good. You got it where you wanted to get it. <laughs> when, 10, 10 yards? If you can rush five yards, doesn't you're good. have the controls down. So he yeah. will run backwards towards oh. the camera and then he's like mad because and I'm like and I'm getting like run the other way oh you're doing a good job but you t- you're just running the wrong way you should coach him oh god I used to be pretty good at Madden I can see the openings now and stuff like I can Madden now I just I don't like I don't like the way I have think I have Madden 21 okay but I don't like the way they structured I don't know how 22 is but 21 I don't like it because oh, yeah. it's just like it's a lot different. You used to be able to just jump in and play a game. Yeah. Now it's more like you gotta go through all these hoops and if you you know, you don't got like if your online don't work, then it makes it hard to fucking play the game. Like huh. you have to sign into like an EA account. Like it was annoying. Huh. But, this seemed easy enough. We got it. Yeah, it, it yeah. maybe they changed it. But we it. downloaded it. Yeah, I downloaded it. So it's downloaded. I don't remember us really having to do an EA account or anything. I well I did one for <laughs> like I did like my career type thing. Okay. Oh yeah, I, we're not doing a career. Yeah. Either. No, then I, but I used to be able to just do like a season. Like they a did season. ask you if you wanted to like notify the NFL and stuff. I'm like, why the fuck do they need to know what I'm gaming in that? So no, we didn't do that. We didn't like. But no, the game's fun. Dude. But yeah, so he will figure it out, and like even if he doesn't end up playing it, at least hopefully he'll understand. Yeah, you guys have on the Xbox or what? I got it on Xbox just because we had room. My PlayStation 4 has no space at all. I so. think so. <laughs> yeah. External uh, external hard, hard drive. drive. Yeah, Anybody hard out drive. there, if you guys have a PlayStation, external hard drive. <clears throat> I need to get one. And you I can just... transfer everything from that exter- from your hard drive on the PlayStation onto the external. And then you can create it so you can save to the external. Like it's I, a slave drive kind of deal? Yeah, that's what I had to do for yeah. ours. Like my original one. I have it set up like that. And I... Velcroed the hard drive to the PlayStation because, okay. and I told the kids, do not unplug this. Yeah, this stays plugged in at all times because it's like an actual piece of hardware of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this is where all the games you're playing right now are yeah. sitting. Yeah, you guys fuck this up. It's gone. You guys aren't gonna play. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that's the point too. Is like that can end up fucking up, but still, if anything's in the cloud, you're. You're well, cool. all my games are downloaded that's, now. That's we don't my go to the store and buy them anymore. They're and I, all and this digital download was like twenty three dollars, twenty six dollars. Dirt. Yeah, they had uh, more expensive versions for. See that? That's see that's so stupid. Yeah. Look, get the gold version. See, I know this one. What I was is, like, I almost difference? bought the more expensive one because it was like not that expensive. But then I'm like looking to like you get you know all this like money stuff, and I'm like for what? Yeah, you can purchase certain things in the game now. It's like a mobile game. Yeah, you right. Know, like you purchase like, okay, stuff. that's fine. I don't want to. Yeah, that's what I don't care about. <laughs> my thing Madden. is... Just let, can I fucking play now, My game? issue is, like, if video games get to the point where they turn into apps, where, like, the whole point is to get more money out of you, I'll stop playing them. Because... Well, that's that's where I felt Madden was going. Yeah. Um, and Madden has, like, a... We've only played one on actual market. game, and so... Madden's fun. Don't get me wrong. I love Madden. I love... The challenge uh-huh. that it has, um, I think a lot of people like running. It's um, one of the hardest things to do, man. That, that's yeah. how I play. Is like, yeah. I like to run, uh-huh. run the ball. Yeah, I play like I'm fucking. If I was really fucking gonna play in real life, sure, I'll just run, 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 run. I play so slow. People hated playing me online. Really? That's how I play. Like I'm just gonna run. If you tackle me with one yard, I'm gonna run the next play. Yeah, until slowly it starts working. And by the end of the game, like, I'd have, like, 100-something yards rushing, maybe 100 yards passing. Like, I wouldn't have many yards passing because passing's hard. Yeah. Passing can be hard. Elliot it's, actually got okay at passing. It's he fun. made some passes. He won. We were on rookie, but he ended up winning the <laughs> first game. 
that's probably perfect. He was uh, Tom Brady, and we were playing against Patrick Mahomes. Oh, that's a good game. And, that's like uh, Super Bowl right there. Yeah, we didn't choose anything. That was a weird thing. Like, I, oh, that see, must have been from the Super Bowl then. It might, maybe. I don't know if you start there, you and do. then you get into the game. Well, man will start like that. Um, oh, okay. As like, if you're doing like an exhibition, it'll be. Maybe like, that's what it was. I don't know. Elliot, uh. He just he got us into it, and so yeah, but it was just funny. So that's cool. Yeah, Ooh, fun time. Years. I know it's getting a little tough. I don't know. I think we should. Be, I, I think, think we're good. Right? I think we got everything we needed to say. I so I thanks think I again. actually covered almost everything I was talking about. Yeah, I did. I had dreams two next week. Eggnog and stamps. I, I got had those covered. So <laughs> I had pretty much everything except dreams, but yeah. we'll talk about that next. Week. Uh, next week's episode: dreams, dreams, and how you women get mad about Christmas it. dreams. Oh. Jeez, yeah. yeah. You wake up and she's got the salad put space, and you're like, <laughs> "What did I do? What in your I dream? do? What didn't you do, asshole?" Yeah, we'll talk about we'll that. Talk next about week. that next week. You can but look forward to that. You guys have a good Christmas if we don't talk to you. By Merry the Christmas, right? Yeah, That's crazy. Christmas. We time. might come to you on Christmas Day. We or might Christmas come to Eve. you on Christmas Eve. We'll, just, we'll, we'll talk you to you around Christmas. Make sure your family watches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn it on. Hey, you know, you're, you're, you're waiting Christmas for the Christmas episode. You're waiting We're for a football Christmas. game, which, you know, uh, I don't think it's, I don't think, I think Christmas. it's probably basketball. So, okay. You're waiting for a basketball game. See, I don't know everything about these sports, but yeah, basketball. You're waiting for a basketball sure. game. Hey, don't watch the dog show beforehand. Yeah. Watch Just Fairly Blended. Yeah, much better than dog yeah, show. Much better. Your Two dogs Thomas. right here. But <laughs> two dogs talking <don't> alive. <laughs> All right. But you guys have a fantastic holiday. We, we love, love you. you. We'll see you soon. Oh, I, almost, I started. I mean, a little That's okay. Hey, that was hey, good. I started premature. Yeah, well, you know. What's but anyway, have a, blessed, <laughs> have a blessed week. Love you guys. You know, take care, motherfuckers. Such good music. It's good. It is. I don't know.